Oh, we are going for chapter 8 in the book of um, Cell and Molecular Immunology and I will be speaking about lymphocyte development and antigen receptor gene rearrangement. This will be our discussion uh, following this topic. You will see the overview of lymphocyte development, commitment to B and T cell lineage and proliferation of progenitor role of epigenetic changes and microRNAs in lymphocyte development, antigen receptor gene rearrangement and expression, selection process that shape the B and T lymphocyte repertoire, then we'll see rearrangement of antigen receptor genes in B and T lymphocyte, germline organization of immunoglobulin and T cell receptor gene, VDJ recombination, Generation of diversity in B and T cell. We'll see B lymphocyte development, stage of B lymphocyte development, selection of mature B cell repertoire. T lymphocyte development, then you'll see the role of thermos in T cell maturation, stages of T cell maturation, selection process in maturation of MHC uh, restricted the alpha beta T cell and alpha gamma delta t lymphocyte then in summary lymphocytes express highly diverse antigen receptor that are capable of recognizing a wide variety of foreign substance this diversity is generally uh, is generated during the development of mature b and t lymphocyte from the precursor cell that do not express antigen receptor and cannot recognize and respond to antigen. The process by which lymphocyte progenitor in the thermos and bone marrow differentiate into mature lymphocyte that can populate peripheral lymphocyte, lymphoid tissue is called lymphocyte development or lymphocyte maturation. The term development and maturation are used interchangeably in this context. Maturation is initiation initiated by signal from cell surface receptor that have two main roles. They promote the proliferation of progenitor and they initiate the rearrangement of antigen receptor genes, which is required for the development of B and T lymphocytes with diverse antigen specificities. We begin this chapter by considering uh, the process of commitment to B to the B and T lymphocyte lineage and discussing some common principle and mechanism of lymphocyte development. This is followed by a description of process that are unique to the, to the development of B cell and then some unique to T cell. Overview of lymphocyte development. The maturation of B and T lymphocytes involve a series of events that occur in the primary, also called the gener generative or central lymphoid organs. These events include the following. First, commitment of progenitor cell to the B lymphoid or T lymphoid lineage. Then a proliferation of progenitor and the mature committed cells and specific early stages of development providing a large pool of cells that can generate useful lymphocytes. Then the sequential and the ordered rearrangement of antigen receptor genes and the expression of antigen receptor protein. The term, terms rearrangement and recombination are used interchangeably. Then selection events that preserve cells that have produced the functional antigen receptor and proteins and eliminate potentially dangerous cells that are strong that strongly recognize self antigen. This selection process during development ensures that lymphocyte that expresses functional receptor with useful special specialities will mature and enter the peripheral immune system. Differentiation of B and T cell into functional and phenotypically distinct subpopulation. B cell develop into follicular marginal zones and B1 cell and T cell develop into <clears throat> let me repeat B cell develop into follicular marginal zone and B1 cell 
and T cell develop into CD4 and CD8 alpha beta T lymphocyte alpha del uh, del gamma delta T cells natural killer cells and mucosa associated invariant T mite cells The properties and function of this different lymphocyte population are discussed in later chapters. So uh, stages of lymphocyte maturation, development of both B and T lymphocytes involve the sequence of maturation stages. Sure, B cell maturation is illustrated but the basic stages of T cell maturation are similar. You see the diagram, you can follow it. Commitment of B and T cell lineage and proliferation of progenitors. Mal mal multipotent stem cell in the liver, in the fetal liver and bone marrow, known as hematopoietic stem cell, give rise to all lineage of blood cell, including lymphocytes. The hematopoietic stem cell mature into common lymphoid progenitor, progenitor progenitors that give rise to B, T cell, natural killer cell, and innate lymphoid cell. The maturation of B cell from progenitor commitment committed to this lineage occur before birth in the fetal liver and after birth in bone marrow, with the final step being completed in the spleen. Fetal liver derived stem cell give rise to mainly to a type of B cell called B1 cell, whereas bone marrow derived hematopoietic cells give rise to the majority of circulating B cell, follicular B cell, and a subset of B cell called marginal zone B cell, they are also coming from the bone marrow. Precursor of the T lymphocyte emerge from fetal liver before birth and from the bone marrow later in life and circulate to the thermos where they complete their maturation. T cell that expresses gamma delta cell, T cell receptor, arise from fetal liver of hematopoietic cells and majority of T cell which express alpha beta T cell receptor develop from the bone marrow derived uh, hematopoietic cell. In general, the B and T cell that are generated early in the fetal life have less diverse antigenic receptors. Despite their different anatomical locations, the early maturation event of both B and T lymphocytes are fundamentally similar. Commitment of commonly lymphoid progenitor to B and T cell lineage depend on transcriptional regulator that drive the development toward either B cell or T cell. So it depends on transcriptional regulator. Key event in the commitment of precursor cell to the B and to the B cell or T cell lineage are, exp are expression of the protein involved in antigen receptor gene rearrangement described later in the chapter and the generation of accessibility at the level of chromatin of particular antigen receptor gene lock to these proteins. In case of development of B cell, the immunoglobulin Ig heavy chain locus initially in a closed chromatin configuration is opened so that it become accessible to the protein that will mediate Ig genes rearrangement and expression. In develop, developing alpha beta T cell, the T cell receptor beta genes locus is made accessible first. These changes in chromatin accessibility of antigen receptor lock during development are initiated by cells by set of the lineage to specific transcription factors. Numerous transcriptional factors are involved in the maturation of T and B cell. NOX1 and GATA3 commit development, developing a lymphocyte to T cell lineage. The NOC family of the protein are cell surface molecules that are pro pro 
theoretically cleaved when they uh, they interact with the specific ligand of on neighboring cell the cleaved intracellular portion of the knock protein migrate to the nucleus and modulate the expression of specific target gene knock one is activated in lymphoid progenitor cell and together with gata 3 it induces the expression of the number of a number of gene that are required for further development of alpha um, beta T cell. Some of these genes encode component of the pre T cell receptor, pre T cell receptor, and RAG1 and RAG2 protein, which are required for VDJ recombination described later. The EBF E2A and PAX5 transcription factor induce the expression of gene required for B cell development. These include gene encoded, encoding the RAG1, RAG2 protein, component of the pre component of pre B cell receptor, pre B cell receptor, and protein that contribute to the signaling through the pre B cell receptor and pre C, uh, pre B cell uh, and B cell receptor. The role of these protein in T and B cell development will be considered later in this chapter. So we have the multipotent uh, hematopoietic cell. Uh, this is multipotent stem cell, we see. Yeah, multipotent stem cell. Then uh, multipotent stem cell, here there is a common lymphoid progenitor, this happened. So uh, if there is a EBF E two A together with Pax five, this common lymphoid progenitor cell will change to become pro B cell. However, when there is nothing here, I don't see anything. Then those that remains will have to change to make it a, uh, to make it a T cell. Will remain that way. Then in the presence of notch one together with gutter three we are getting pro T cell and uh, in absence there are those which will not be attached or will not be touched with notch D, notch 1 and GATT3 then they will become inter, uh, uh, innate lymphoid cells and together with natural killer cells in the presence of ID2 upon uh, the pro T cell, then they will change it to alpha beta T and uh, uh, gamma delta T cell. This one will change to 4AB and B1 together with this is follicular, this is uh, marginal, and this is B1. So malpotent stem cell give rise to the distinct B and T lineage, hematopoietic stem cells, and give rise to the distinct, distinct progenitor. for various types of blood cells. One of these progenitor population known, shown here is called common lymphoid progenitor. And common lymphoid give rise to the B and T cell and also contribute to the natural killer cells, innate lymphoid cells and some dendritic cells not de depicted here. Pro B cell can eventually differentiate into follicular B cell, marginal zone B cell and B1 cell. Pro T cells may commit to either alpha beta and O delta uh, uh, gamma delta T cell. Commitment to different lineages is driven by various transcriptional factor indicated in italic. I've seen ourselves, those are the drivers. During B and T cell development, committed the progenitor cell proliferate first in response to cytokine and later in response to the signal generated by pre-antigen receptor that select cells that have successfully arranged the first set of antigen receptor genes. Proliferating, proliferate, proliferation ensures that a large enough pool of progenitor cell will be generated to eventually produce a high diverse repertoire of or mature antigen-specific anti, antigen lymphocytes. In mice, widely used for basic research for lympho, lymphocyte development, the cytokine interleukin-7 drives the proliferation of LT 
and B cell progenitor. In human, interleukin 7 is required for the proliferation of T cell progenitor, but not of the progenitor in the B cell lineage. The factor that drive the proliferation of human progenitor B cell remain to be identified. Interleukin 7 is uh, produced by stroma cell in bone marrow and may be uh, epithelial and other cell in the thermos. Myth with targeted maturation in gene encoding either interleukin 7 or interleukin 7 receptor shows defective maturation of lymphocyte precursor beyond LS stage or and uh, as a result of or as a result of profound deficiency in mature T and B cell. Mutation in human gene encoding the common gamma chain, a protein that is shared by a receptor for the several cytokines, including interleukin 2, interleukin 7, and interleukin 15, give rise to the immunodeficiency disorder called X-linked severe combined immunodeficiency disease. As scared. See it in chapter 21. This disease is characterized by the block in T cell and natural cell development, but normal B cell development because interleukin 7 is required for T cell development in human, and interleukin 13, uh, 15 is for natural killer cell. The greatest proliferative expansion of lymphocyte precursor occur after successful rearrangement of gene encoding one or two uh, chains of T uh, or B cells antigen receptor, producing a pre-antigen receptor described later. Signal generated by pre-antigen receptor are responsible for, for, for far greater proliferation of developing lymphocyte, which have successfully rearranged the Ig heavy chain gene or the T cell receptor beta chains genes as the case may be than earlier proliferation driven by cytokines such as interleukin 7. Role of epigenetic change and micro RNA in lymphocyte development. Many nuclear event in lymphocyte development are regulated by epigenetic mechanism. Epigenetic refer to the control of gene expression and phenotypes by mechanism other than changes in coding sequence themselves. In developing lymphocyte, epigenetic mechanism also control antigen receptor gene rearrangement events. The DNA exists in chromosome tightly bound in histone and uh, non-histone protein, forming what is known as chromatin. DNA in chromatin is, is wound around uh, a protein core of histamine oct octamers forming a structure called nucleosomes which may be either well separated from other nucleosome or densely packed. Chromatin may therefore exist as relatively loose packed structure called EU chromatin whereas gene can be accessed by a transcription of factor, factors and are transcribed or as tightly packed hetero heterochromatin in which the gene are maintained in a silenced state. The structural organization of portion of chromosome vary in different cells, making certain genes available for transcription factor to bind to, while these very same genes may be unavailable to transcription factor in other cells. Epigenetic mechanism regulates the accessibility and activity of gene genes by inducing changes in, prom, in, prom, in the promoter and enhanced region uh, of genes. These changes include methylation of DNA of a certain uh, cytokine residue that generally uh, silence the gene for translation modification of histone tails to nucleosomes, e.g. acetylation of methylation or ubiquitination that may render genes either active or inactive depending on the histone modified and the nature of the modification. Active modeling of chromatin by protein machines called the remodeling complex that can also either enhance or suppress gene expression and silencing gene expression by non-coding RNAs. Some critical component of life lymphocyte development are regulated by epigenetic mechanism. Histone modification in 
antigenic receptor genes locks are required for recruitment of protein that immediate the gene recombination to form a functional antigen receptor genes. This process is discussed later in the chapter. Commitment of developing T cell into CD4 or CD8 lineage depend on epigenetic mechanism that silence the expression of CD4 gene in CD8 T cell. Silencing involving chromatin modification that places the CD4 genes into the inaccessible heterochromatin state. In chapter 7, we discussed the microRNA in the context of T cell activation. They contribute in significant ways to modulating genes and protein expression during development as well. As mentioned in chapter 7, DASA is the key enzymes in uh, microRNA generation. Deletion of DASA in the T lineage results in, in the preferential loss of a regulatory T cell. And the consequence of developing of autoimmune diseases, autoimmune phenotype similar to that seen in the absence of Fox P3. They discussed in chapter 15 21. The loss of DISA in the B lineage results in block of the pre B B cell transcription. Discussing in more detail later. Primarily due to the enhanced apoptosis of, uh, of pri uh, B cell. Gene ablation during uh, studies have also revealed that many specific microarray are involved in lymphocyte development. Antigen receptor gene rearrangement and expression. The rearrangement of antigen receptor gene is essential event in lymphocyte development and this process is responsible for generation of diverse adaptive immune, re re immune repertoire. As discussed in the pre previous chapter, each clone of B and or T cell Lymphocyte produce, uh, produce an antigen receptors with a unique antigen binding structure. In, a, in any individual, there are about 7 power 10 power 7 to 10 power 9 different B and T lymphocyte clones, each with uh, a unique receptor. The ability of each individual to generate these larger and diverse lymphocyte repertoires have evolved in such a way that a fairly small number of genes can be give, can give rise to vast number of distinct Ig and T cell receptor molecule, each capable of binding to different antigen. Functional antigen receptor genes produced in immature B cell in the bone marrow and in immature T cell in the thermos by process of gene rearrangement. In this process, segment of antigen receptors genes are randomly uh, are randomly combined and nucleotide sequence variation are introduced at the joints, resulting in the production of large number of var variable region encoding the exons. DNA rearrangement event that can lead to the production of antigen receptor are not de are not dependent on the or influenced by the presence of antigen. In other words, as clonal selection hypothesis had proposed, diverse antigen receptor are generated and expressed before encounter with antigen. We will discuss the monomolecular detail of antigen receptor gene rearrangement later in this chapter. Selection process that shape the B and T lymphocytes repertoire. The process of lymphocyte development contains numerous steps called checkpoint at which the development of cells are tested and continue to be continue to continue mature only if a preceding step in the process has been successfully completed. One of these development checkpoints is based on the successful production of one of the polypeptide chain on the two chains uh, antigen receptor. And the second checkpoint requires a second chain of those assemblies of complete receptor. 
The requirement of transversing this developmental checkpoint is quality control uh, mechanism that ensures um, control mechanism that ensure that all lymphocytes that produce complete uh, antigen receptor and are therefore likely to function uh, to function as selected in to mature. Additionally, selection uh, process up, operate after after antigen receptor are expressed and serve to eliminate potential harmful self uh, reactive lymphocyte and to the to commit co uh, development developing cells to the particular lineage note that term checkpoint is also used to describe very different phenomena in the context of peripheral immune activation and cancer immunology pre antigen receptor pre antigen receptor and antigen receptor deliver signal to a uh, develop, developing lymphocyte that they are, they are required for the survival of these cells and the genes receptors are called the pre-receptor, pre-B cell receptor in B cells and pre-T cell receptor in T cell and are signaling structure expressed during B and T cell development that contain only one of the two polypeptide chain present in mature antigen receptor. Cell of the B lymphocyte lineage that successfully rearranged the IgG chains genes expresses a U chain chain protein and assemble the pre B cells receptor. In addition, in analogous function, fashion development of T um, cell that makes successful T cell receptor better chains generate rearrangement to synthesize the T cell receptor beta chains proteins and assemble a pre T cell receptors and uh, assemble the pre B cell receptor chain and uh, and uh, pre T cell receptor from the complex with the com with the protein that generate signal for survival proliferation and phenomena and phenomena of allergic exclusion and the and for the further development of B and T cell and for the further development of B and T cell because of the random additional nucleotide and the junction between segment of antigen receptors genes that are joining together during lymphocyte development and it surprise uh, during lymphocyte development and the triplet base pair code of determining uh, amino acid. Only about one in three antigen receptor gene rearrangement in frame and uh, therefore capable of generating the proper full length protein. Such successful rearrangement is sometimes called the successful arrangement is sometimes called Such a successful arrangement, rearrangement is sometimes called productive rearrangement. If cells make out of life or frame or non-productive gene rearrangement at the IgG, the T cell uh, receptor B chain lock, the pre-antigen uh, receptor are not expressed and cells um, undergo programmed cell death. Thus, Expression of pre antigen uh, receptor is the, is, the, is the first checkpoint during uh, lymphocyte development. In the context of maturation, <coughs> development, developing B and T cells expresses complete antigen receptor, and cells are selected for individuals. So the pre-cells autocyte have been successfully navigated the prior uh, antigen 
receptors. Checkpoint go and rearrange and express as gene according to uh, according to the chains of B uh, cell recept B cell receptor and T cell receptor and expresses complete antigen re re receptor while they are still immature. At this immune stage, cell that expresses useful antigenic receptor may be a preserved and potentially harmful cell may prevent may, may be preserved and the potentially harmful cells that strongly recognize self antigen um, self antigen self antigen may be eliminated or induced to alter the uh, antigen receptor one minute please I will repeat, at, stage, at this stage, mature stage cells that expresses useful antigen receptor may be preserved and a potentially harmful cell that strongly recognizes self-antigen may be eliminated or induced to alter the uh, antigen receptor. A process called positive selection facilitates the survival of potentially useful lymphocyte. In the T-cell lineage, Positive selection ensures that maturation of T cells whose receptor recognize self magister compatibility complex molecule. Also, the expression of co receptor on a T cell CD8 and CD4 is matched to the recognition of appropriate type of MHC molecule, class 1 MHC and class 2 MHC, respectively. Mature T cells whose precursor. Precursor were positively selected by self MHC molecule in the thermos and able to recognize foreign peptide antigen displayed by the same self MHC molecule at the antigen presenting cells in the peripheral tissue. Mature T cells whose precursor were positively selected by self MHC molecule in the thermos are able to recognize foreign peptide antigens displayed by the same self MHC molecule on antigen presenting cells in peripheral tissue. In the B cell lineage, positive selection preserves receptors expressed the expressing cells and in coupled and is coupled to the generation of different B cell subset.
so proliferation and T cell the pre B T cell expresses one chain of antigen receptor failure to express is pre antigenic receptor it causes death then those which are able to express failure to express antigenic receptor they cause death then antigen receptor expression immature T cell expresses complete antigen receptor then uh, if it's weak for recognition positive and negative selection is happening if too strong antigen recognition then, then negative selection is taking place so if it is weak antigen recognition it is positively selected so here we'll speak later on, on the positive and negative selection than you understand so checkpoint lymphocyte maturation during development the lymphocyte that expresses the receptor required for continued proliferation and at maturation are selected to survival and those that do not express functional receptor die by apoptosis positive and negative selection of the father uh, uh, positive and negative selection for Selection further preserves cell with useful specialties. The presence of multiple checkpoints ensure that only cell with useful receptor complete their maturation. So negative selection is the process that eliminate or alter development developing lymphocytes whose antigen receptors bind strongly to self antigen present in the in the generative lymphoid organs. Developing B cell and T cell are successful are susceptible to negative selection during a short period after antigen receptors are first expressed. Developing T cells with with a high affinity for self antigens are eliminated by apoptosis and phenomenon known as clonal deletion. Strongly self-reactive immature B cell may be induced to make further Ig genes rearrangement and thus avoid self reactivity. This phenomenon is called receptor editing. So a phenomenon known as clone selection, a strong self reactive immature B cell may be induced to make further Ig gene rearrangement and thus avoid self reactivity. This phenomenon is called receptor editing. If editing fails, self reactive B cell die which is also called clonal deletion. Negative selection of immature lymphocyte is an important mechanism for maintaining a tolerance to many self antigens. This is called central tolerance because it develops in the central generative and lymphoid organs. With this introduction, we will proceed to a more detailed discussion of lymphocyte maturation starting with the key event in the process and rearrangement and expression of antigen, antigen receptor genes. The arrangement of antigen receptor genes in B and T lymphocyte. The gene that encode diverse antigen receptors of individual B and T lymphocyte are generated by the combination of different variable Gene region, uh, variable region G, gene segment with diverse D and joining J gene segments. This specialized process of site specific gene rearrangement is called VDJ recombination. Elucidation of the mechanism of antigen receptor gene rearrangement and therefore underlying the basis of generation of lymphocyte diversity representing one of the landmark achievement of modern immunology. The first insight into how millions of different antigen receptor could be generated from a limited number of coding DNA in the genome came from analysis of amino acid sequence of Ig molecules. This analysis showed that the polypeptide chain of many different antibodies and of the same isotope shared identical sequence at the their C terminal ends corresponding to the constant domain of the antibody heavy and light chain but different different considerable but differed consider, considerably in the sequence at their any terminal end that corresponding to the variable domain of antibodies Contrary to one of the central tenet of molecular genetic and enunciated as the one genes one polypeptide hypothesis 
immunologist postulated in 1965 that each antibody chain is actually encoding, encoded by at least two genes, one variable and other constant, and that the two are physically combined at the level of DNA or messenger RNA, messenger RNA to eventually give rise to the functional Ig protein. Formal proof for this hypothesis came more than a decade later when Susum Togen, Tog, Tonegawa demonstrated that the structure of Ig, Ig genes in cells of an antibody producing tumor cells, a myeloma or plasma cytoma, is different from that of embryonic tissue or in non-lymphoid non tissue not committed to the Ig production. These differences arise because DNA segments encoding Ig heavy and light chain are separated within an inherited or germline lock and are brought together and joined only in the develop, developing B cell, but not in other tissue or cell types. Similar arrangements were found to occur during T cell development in the lock, in lock encoding the proper chain for T cell receptor. Antigen receptor gene rearrangement is the best understood by first describing inherited and uh, rearrangement germline organization of Ig or, and the T cell receptor gene, and then describing their rearrangement during lymphocyte maturation. So, a uh, germline organization of immunoglobulin and T cell receptor genes. Germline Ig and T cell receptor genes are composed of multiple. DNA, DNA segment that are spatially separ separate in all cells and they are combined in developing lymphocyte. We still first this we will still first describe the Ig lock and then the T cell receptor. Organization of immunoglobulin gene lock. Three separate lock encode respectively all of the Ig heavy chains and AAV, uh, Ig heavy chains the IgK kappa light chain and the Ig lambda light chain. Each locus is on the different chromosomes. The organization of human Ig genes is illustrated in figure 80.4. Ig genes are organized in essentially the same way in all mammals. Although they are chromosome location and number of chromosome location and the number and order of different gene segments in each locus may vary. At the five prime end of each Ig locus, there is a cluster of variable V gene segment, each about three bases pair long. The number of functional variable gene segments vary considerably among different Ig lock and among different species. For example, human, in human there are about uh, 35 functional V gene segment in kappa light chain locus and 30 in uh, lambda locus and about 45 are uh, heavy chain locus whereas in mice there are about 30 functional genes segment in kappa lamp in kappa, uh, kappa locus and um, about 250 in the heavy chain locus. In the body species V gene sub segment of each locus are spaced over large uh, stretches of DNA up to 2,000 kilobases long. Located at five prime of each V gene segment is the leader exon that encode the 20 to 30 terminal residue of translated protein. These residue are moderately hydrophobic and make up to make up the leader or the sig signal peptide. Signal sequence are found in all newly synthesized secreted and transmembrane protein and are involved in guiding the nascent peptide being translated uh, on ribosome to, to bind into the cytosolic complex that docks their 
docks these specific ribosomes onto the endoplasmic reticular membrane to allow protein translocation into the lumen of endoplasmic reticulum. Here, the signal, signal sequence are rapidly cleaved and they are not present in the mature proteins. Upstream of each leader exon is a V gene segment promoter at which transcription can be initiated, but as discussed later, this occurs mostly efficiently with the rearrangement. So this is an illustration, a uh, heavy chain, heavy chain. So these are the number of variable, 45 number, D it is 20, this is 23. Uh, we have a uh, chain locus, uh, here another one, this is uh, VKI 2035, and uh, this is 30. So germline organization of human immunoglobulin gene lock, the human heavy chains, upper light chain and uh, um, lambda light chain genes are shown the only functional gene segment are shown pseudo genes have been uh, omitted by simplicity exon and intron are not drawn to scale each C genes is known as um, single box but it is composed of several exons as illustrated by CU genes. So at a varying distance, three prime of V gene segment are, are several joining J segment that are typically 30 to 50 base pair long and is separated by non-coding sequence. Between the, the V and J segment in the heavy chain, Ig locus, there are the additional segment known as diversity D segment. These segments are not found in the in Ig light chain lock. Like V gene segment, the number of D and J segment vary in different Ig lock at different species. The constant region genes are located in three prime of the J segment. Each Ig locus has a distinct arrangement and number of C region genes. In human, the Ig kappa light chain locus has a single C genes, CK, and the light lambda light chain locus has four functional C genes. The Ig heavy chain locus has nine C genes arranged in the tandem array that encode the C uh, region on, of nine different Ig isotope and subtype. I've discussed it in chapter five. The C kappa and C lambda genes are each composed of the single exon that encode the entire C domain of the light chain. In contrast, each constant heavy chain is composed of five or six exon, three or four exon, each similar in size to a V gene segment, each encode to the constant domain of the Ig heavy chain, and two small exon code for carboxyl terminal end of the membrane form of each Ig heavy chain, including the transmembrane and the cytoplasmic domain of the heavy chain. The V, J, and D, if present, gene segments are brought together to create a coding sequence for variable domains of antibody chains. In an IgE, Ig light chain protein, kappa and lambda and V domain is encoded by the arranged, the arranged V and J segment. In, in Ig heavy chain proteins, the, I, the, the V domain is encoded by the, combi, by the recombined VD and J gene segment. In case of Ig heavy chain, V domains the nani germline functional residue between the rearrangement V and D segment and D and, D and J segments, as well as those germline sequence of D and J segment themselves make up a third hypervariable region also known as complementarity determining region. The CD 
RF3. The junction, the, the junction of sequence between the, the rearranged V and J segment as well as the J segment itself make up 30 hypervariable region of IG light chain. The complementarity determining region 1, complementarity determining region 2 are encoded in V genes segment only. A complete IG light chain uh, or heavy chain protein contain a V domain encoded by the rearrangement of VJ and or VDJ exon fused to a C domain or domain. The, op the opposition of IG, V and C domain does not occur at level of DNA rearrangement but RNA splicing of, of the rearrange, rearranged the IG gene transcript. Non-coding sequence in the IG lock play important role in the recombination and gene expression. As we will see later, sequence that detect the recombination of different gene segments are found adjustment to each coding segment in IG genes. Also present at V genes, promoters, and other cis at, at, at acting regulatory elements such as locus control region enhancer and silence which regulate gene expression at the level of transcription. So we see this is heavy chain, Ig heavy chain, mu chain, membrane form. This is in uh, Ig, in T in a T, uh, T, T cell receptor, we see the T cell beta chains. They have this combination again, the T cell alpha chain. They are this combination, and this is complementary determining region one, region two, region three, and um, V and uh, D together with J. Yeah, in light chain, heavy chain, heavy chain, you see V, H, D, J, and in light chain, we see. Uh, V L together with J L. There is no D here. And um, yeah. So the main of immunoglobin and T cell receptor protein. The domain of immunoglobin, Ig heavy and light chain are shown in A, and the domain of T cell receptors, alpha and beta chain are shown in B. The relationship between Ig and T cell receptor gene segment and domain structure of the antigen receptor polypeptide chain are indicated. The V and C region of each pol polypeptide are encoded by different gene segments. The location of intrachain and the interchain disulfide bond are approximate. Areas in dashed box are hypervariable, complementary determining region, and Ig mu chains and T cell receptor, alpha and beta chains, transmembrane and cytoplasmic domain are encoded by separate exon. So human T cell beta chain locus, uh, so variable number most 50, we have the D, we have the J, so these are important. The germline organization of human T cell receptor gene lock, human T cell receptor, alpha, beta, and gamma, and delta chain genes are shown as indicated. Exon and intron are not drawn to a, to a scale, and non-functional pseudo genes are not shown. Each C genes is known as single box, but is, is, is composed of several axons and illustrated before C beta 1. Gene segment are indicated as follows C constant region, D diversity, L enhancer, J for uh, uh, joining. Organization of T cell receptor gene lock. Each germline T cell T cell receptor locus is arranged in a very similar way to Ig lock described earlier with five prime cluster of several V genes segment followed by D segment in the beta and delta lock only, followed by cluster of J uh, segment all upstream of C region. 
genes. In the normal human beta locus, where there are about 50 V, 2 D, and 12 J gene segment, and in the locus where there are about 45 V and uh, 50 J segment, the gamma and delta lock overall have fewer gene segment than the alpha and beta lock with total of only seven V uh, variable genes. Upstream of each T cell receptor, V gene segment is an exon that encodes a leader peptide and upstream each leader exon is promoter of each V gene segment. In the T cell receptor beta and uh, delta protein, the V domain is encoded by V, D, and J segment gene segment and the T cell receptor alpha and gamma protein the V domain is encoded by V and J gene segment in all these V domains CD complementary determining region 1 and complementary region determining region 2 are encoded by germline sequence within V gene segment complementarity determining region 3 in each T cell receptor beta and T cell receptor delta chain is endorsed by D and J segment as well as non germline junction or sequence that are added between the V, D, and J segment. The complementarity determining region 3 in each alpha and beta chain is encoded by non germline function or sequence between uh, the V and J segment and by J segment itself. There are two C genes in each of human T cell receptor beta and T cell receptor gamma lock, but only one is used in NS T cell clone, and each of the two has its own associated alpha a five prime cluster of J segment. There, are, there is only one C gene in each of the alpha and delta lock. Each T cell receptor C region gene is composed of four exons encoding the extracellular C region IG domain. A short hinge region, the transmembrane segment and, uh, the, uh, and the cytoplasmic tail. The relationship of T cell receptor gene segment and corresponding portion of T cell receptor protein that they encode is shown in figure 8, 5b. VDJ recombination. The germline organization of Ig and uh, T cell receptor lock described in the preceding section exists in all cell types in the body. The germline gene cannot be transcribed into the messenger RNA that encode functional antigen receptor proteins. Functional antigen receptor gene are created only in the developing B and uh, T lymphocyte after DNA rearrangement bring randomly chosen VDJ if present or v VD if present and J gene segment in the second conjunct. This process of VDJ recombination at NAIG or T cell receptor locus involves the arrange rearrangement of one V and gene seg V gene segment and one D segment only IG G heavy chain and T cell receptor beta and alpha ch chain lock and one J segment in each lymphocyte to form a single BDJ exon that will code for a variable region of antigen receptor protein. In the light, in the IgG, in the Ig light chain, and uh, T cell receptor alpha and uh, gamma lock, which lack D segment, a single rearrangement event joins a randomly selected V gene segment to a randomly selected J segment. The Ig heavy chain and uh, T cell receptor beta and uh, delta lock contain a D segment. And at this, at this lock, two sequential rearrangement, rearrangement events are needed. First, joining a D to J and then V segment to be fused with DJ segment. With each segment type randomly selected from the inherited group of V 
D and J segment. Each rearrangement, rearrange, rearrangement event involves a number of steps. First, the chromatin is opened in specific region of chromosome to make antigen receptor genes segment accessible to enzymes that mediate the combination. Next, two selected genes segment are brought next to one another across a considerable chromosome distance. Double standard breaks are then introduced at the, co at the coding ends of these two segments. Nucleotides are added and the added or removed at the broken end, and finally, the processed end are ligated to produce antigen receptor genes that are that can efficiently efficiently transcribed. The C gene, the C region lies downstream of the rearra rearrangement exon separated by germline C entrance. This rearrangement gene is transcribed to form the primary nuclear RNA transcript. The subsequent RNA splicing brings together the leaders, leader exons, the VDJ uh, exon, the C region exon, forming an forming an forming an messenger RNA that can be translated in, to produce one of the chain of the antigen receptor. The use of different combination of VDJ gene segment and uh, the addition and the removal of nucleotide at junction of contribute to the tremendously diversity of antigen receptor as well as we'll discuss more in detail later also because the gene segment combination and the junction between them are different in each developing b and t lymphocyte each cell and its clonal progenies produce a distinct antigen receptor So this is germline DNA. We see after we have the, the antigen, there will be rearrangement. So junction of diversity bases added or removed. Then the messenger RNA will have to have the message which have been rearranged, transcribed, and uh, protein relevance to, uh, to the production of specific antibody or receptor or anything that is required is will be produced. Recognition signal that drive VDJ recombination. Lymphocyte specific protein that mediate VDJ recombination recognize DNA sequence called recombination signal sequence that are located in three prime of each v gene segment five of each j segment and flank each side of every d segment the recombination signal sequence consists of conserved stretch of seven nucleotide called heptamer usually c a c a g t g Located adjacent to the coding sequence, followed by Spencer of either 12 or 23 non conserved nucleotide, followed by conserved 80 rich stage of 9 nucleotide called the monom, called the no, no, no nama. Specific residue in the heptama and the nonama contribute to the binding of the recombinant enzyme that mediate joining that will be described later in the next section. The 12 and 23 nucleotide space are roughly corresponding to one or two ton of DNA helix respectively and they ensure that the two distinct RSS, RSSS each adjacent to different types of coding genes segment are brought together or close to one another for combination for the combination as discussed in the following section during v dj recombination double strand break are generated between the heptama of the rss and the adjacent vdj vd uh, j coding sequence 
in IG light chain, the V to J recombination, for example, breaks will be made three primer of V segment and five primer of J segment. The intervening DNA containing signal ends or the end that contain the heptema and rest of the RSS is removed in forms of cycle and the V and the V and J coding ends are joined. In some V gene segments, especially in IG kappa locus, the RSS are three prime of A, V K or V kappa and three of J K or J kappa and therefore do not face each other. In this case, the intervening DNA is inverted and the V and J segment are property aligned. The fused RSS are, are not deleted but retained in chromosomes. The most Ig and T cell receptor genes rearrangement occur by deletion, inversion in the basis of up to 50% of rearrangement in IgK locus. Recombination occurs between two segments only if one of the segments is flanked by a 12 nucleotide dispersor and the other is flanked by a 23 nucleotide dispersor. This is called 12-23 rules. Thus, the location of flanking RBS ensure that the appropriate gene segment will recombine. The other, for example, in the Ig heavy chain locus, the RSS flanking both V and J segment have 23 nucleotide dispersor, two, two tons of DNA helix, therefore cannot join directly. D to J recombination occur first followed by V, J to V to D, J recombination. This is possible because the D segment are flanked on both sides by 12 nucleotide dispenser allowing the DJ and VDJ joining. The RSS described here are unique to IG and the and uh, TCR genes. The, therefore, VDJ recombination can occur in antigen receptor genes but not in other genes. One of the consequences of VDJ recombination is that the process brings promoters located immediately 5' prime of V genes close to the downstream enhancer that are located in the entrance between J and C segment and also 3' prime of the C regions, region genes. These enhancers maximize the transcriptional activities of V genes promoter and thus important for high-level transcription of rearrangement of V genes in lymphocyte. Because Ig and T cell receptor genes are sites for multiple DNA recombination event in B and T cell, and because these sites become becomes transcriptional active after recombination, genes from other lock can be abnormal translocated to this lock, as the result may be aberrantly transcribed. In tumor of B cell, O and T lymphocyte oncogen are often translocated to Ig or T cell receptor gene lock. Such chromosomal translocation are frequently accompanied by enhanced transcription of the oncogens and they are major mechanism leading to development of myeloid tumor. So we have VK uh, Spencer, we have Spencer, J, this is uh, A, the A here, conserved the heptema. These are the just structures, recombination, how this happened. So we have the germline, transition uh, regulation of immunoglobin G, VDJ, recombination bring in active promoter sequence shown as P, Close to the enhancer, the enhancer promotes transcription of rearrangement V genes V2, whose activator promote is indicated on bold blue arrow. Several receptor genes have an enhancer in J 
JC intron and, and, and another 3 prime C region. Only 3 enhancer is de depicted here. Mechanism of VDJ recombination. The arrangement of IG and uh, T cell receptor gene represent a special kind of non homologous gene recombination event that is mediated by the coordinated activities of several enzymes. Some, some of these enzymes are found only in developing lymphocytes, whereas others are ubiquitous DNA double stranded break prepare enzymes. Although the mechanism of VDJ recombination is fairly well understood and will be described here, how exactly specific locks are made accessible to the machinery involved in the combination of remaining to be determined. It's likely that accessibility of Ig and T cell receptor lock to the enzymes that immediate the recombination is regulated, is regulated in the developing B and T cell by several mechanisms, including epigenetic alteration in chromatin structure and basal transcription of activity in the gene lock. There are two main steps involved in achieving accessibility. First, only RSS, uh, RSS that are located in open that are located in the open uo chromatin in the specific cell type will be exposed to recombination enzymes. For example, the IgH, IgK, and uh, and um, Ig alpha lock will be exposed in a B cell but not in developing T cell. Second, secondary, secondary, within this open uh, chromatin state, gene segments that are actually undergoing recombination acquires additional histone marks such as hypermethylation of lysine 4 or histone 3. This modification specifically facilitates recruitment of enzymes discussed shortly. The process of VDJ recombination can be divided into four distinct sequential events. First, synopsis. Synopsis refer to the process by which two distance, distant selected coding segments and they are adjacent RSS that have acquired the specific histone marks are brought together by chromosomal looping event and held in position for subsequent cleavage, processing, and joining. Cleavage. A lymphocyte specific, that is the second, a lymphocyte specific enzyme called the VDJ recombinants creates double stranded breaks of RSS coding sequence junction. The VDJ recombinants is composed of two molecules, each of two different proteins called RAG1 and RAG2. These proteins are encoded by a lymphocyte-specific gene called recombination activating genes 1 and recombination activating gene 2. So respectively, this recombination um, activating gene 1 and 2 complex is required for VDJ recombination, but only RAG1 possess catalytic activities. The RAG2 protein bind to uh, hypermethylated H3K4 site in chromo chromatin and associated with and activate the RAG1. The RAG1 protein in a manner similar to the bacterial restriction endonuclease recognize the DNA sequence at the junction between the heptama and coding segment but Enzymatically are active only when complexed with the uh, RAG2 protein. RAG1 recombinant, uh, recomb recombination activating gene 1 then makes a nick on the DNA strand between the coding end and heptama. The release alpha 3, 3, 3, uh, prime, 3 prime, uh, hydroxide on of the coding ends then attack the phosphodiester bond on the other DNA strand, forming a covalent hair hairpins. The signal ends, including the heptama and the rest of RSS, does not form the hairpins and is generated as blunt double strand DNA tenimus that undergo 
undergoes no further processing. This double-stranded brake results in a closed hairpins of the coding segment being held in in an op a position to be closed hair hairpin of the other coding end and two blunt recombination signal end being closed next to each other. Rag 1 and Rag 2, in addition to the gener generating of the double strand brakes, also ho hold the hairpin ends and blunt ends together before the modification of coding ends and process of ligation begins. Rag 1 genes are expressed only in developing B and uh, T cells. Rag proteins are produced mainly in the G of and G2, uh, G1 stages of the cell cycle and are in activated in proliferating cells. It is thought that limiting DNA cleavage and recombination to the uh, to the to the GO and G1 stages minimize the risk of uh, generating inappropriate DNA break during DNA replication or during mitosis. Mice without functional RAG1, RAG2 genes, RAG knockout mice fail to develop B and T cell and RAG1, RAG2 mutations are co um, mutation are, are, are a cause of skid in which patient lack B and uh, T lymphocyte altogether. So this is the structure, the synopsis that we are told. It is now being brought together. You see the 9977. Now rag one, rag two, they combine together. You see the the five primary, three primary brought together. Now we see uh, what is needed now. The nine the alpha these are cut. There is combination now of five and uh, and three primer. Hair, hairpin opening the end process. So they are coming together and the Artemis DNA peak exonucleus bind in between, then they are joined together. So sequential event during VDJ recombination, synapses and cleavage of DNA at a heptama coding the segment bond are mediated by RAG1 and RAG2. Uh, the coding end hairpin is opened by a trimethyl endonucleus and broken end are repaired by non homologous end joining the joining machine present is also not that the two strands of DNA are shown in hairpins but not in other schematic illustration of gene. Hairpin opening and end processing. After the formation of double strand break, hairpin must be opened at the coding junction and nucleotides may be added or removed from the coding end to create even greater devastation. Attainments is an endonucleus that open up the hairpin at the coding end in the absence of atomins, hairpins cannot be opened and mature T and B cell cannot be generated. Mutation in atomins are a rare cause of skid similar to the patient with RAG1, RAG2 mutations. A lymphoid specific enzyme called terminal deoxynucleotide transferase add nucleotide to the broken DNA and and will be discussed later in the context of junctional diversity. Joining. 
the broken coding end as well as signal ends the end that terminate in the no, no non coding error sequence are brought together and ligated by double stranded breaks repair process found in all cell that is called the non homologous end joining a number of ubiquitous proteins participate in non homologous end joining the q7 q80 are dna ending binding protein that bind to the breaks and recruit catalytic key subunit of dna dependent protein kinase dna peak dna repair enzyme mutation affecting the dna peak result in a failure to produce mature b and t lymphocyte causing skid in mice and human dna peak also phosphorylate and activate Ateminins, which are them, which are as mentioned before, is involved in end processing. Ligation of processed broken end is mediated by DNA ligas, uh, I, IV and uh, XRC C4. The latter being non-catalytic but essential subunit of ligase. Generation of diversity in B and T cell. The diversity of of the B and T cell repertoire is created by randomly combination of germline gene segment being joined together and by the addition or deletion of sequence at the junction between these segments. Several gene gene genetic mechanisms contribute to this diversity. See in figure uh, 8.11.8.1. Combinatorial diversity, different combination of gene segment united by VDJ, recombination encode antigen receptor with different antigen binding site. The maximum possible number for of recombination of combination of these genes agent is the product of number of VJ and if present D gene segment at each antigen receptor locus. Therefore. The amount of combinator combinatorial diversity that can be generated at each locus reflects the number of germlines, V, J, and D gene segment at that locus. After synthesis of antigen receptor protein, combinatorial diversity is further enhanced by juxtaposition of two different randomly generated uh, V uh, region. This is heavy and light, uh, heavy and um, light chain in Ig molecule and V alpha and beta in T molecule. Therefore, the total combinatorial diversity is theoretically the product of combina combinatorial diversity of each of the two associated chain. The actual degree of combinatorial diversity in, in the expressed Ig and T cell receptor repertoire in any individual is likely to be considerably less than the theoretical maximum. This is because not all combination of gene segments are equally likely to occur and not all pairing of Ig heavy and light chain, T cells of alpha and beta chains may form functional antigen receptor. Importantly, because number of VDJ segments in each locus are limited, the maximum possible number for combinatorial are the order of 1 to 3 million. The upper limit of combinatorial diversity, this is the much less than the actual diversity of antigen receptor in mature lymphocyte. So the germline DNA before somatic rearrangement, you have the segment V1, V2, Vn, now D1, D2, Dn, Dj1. So this one can be rearranged different, junction of diversity different N and P nucleotides combination of different combination. I've seen different combination, million of different recombinant genes. The diversity of antigen receptor gene, the figure show that show the two mechanisms that give rise to diversity of antigen receptor. Combination of different VDJ genes segment and addition or removal of nucleotide at the joints. Although different VDJ uh, combination and addition of nucleotide are shown separately to emphasize the difference, the different combina 
contribution of combinatorial and junctional diversity. Both processes occur at the same time during rearrangement of gene segment. Not shown in is a removal of nucleotide, which also occurs simultaneously and contribute to the more junctional diversity. The figure illustrates a few distinct antigenic antigen receptor genes produced by this mechanism, but the total diversity uh, is enormous. Junctional diversity and uh, junctional diversity. So the first one was we are discussing the combination combina combinatorial diversity and uh, we have the second one is junctional diversity. The largest contribution uh, to the diversity of antigen receptors is made by additional or removal of nucleotide at the junction of the V, J, D, V and D, D and J and V and J segment. At the, at the time these segments are joined. One, one, one way in which this can occur is if endonucleus remove nucleotide from the germline sequence at the end of the recombinated recombined gene segment. In addition, new nucleotide sequence, not the segment in the germline, may be added at junction. As described earlier, coding segment G, V, and J segment that are cleaved by RAG1 form a hair pin slope loop. Each hair pin DNA is necked, cleaved of the single DNA strand asymmetrically by enzyme attainment so that hairpin is opened and one DNA strand is then longer than it is complementary strand. The shorter strand has to be extended with a nucleotide complementary to a to longer strand before uh, the two coding segment can be ligated. The longer strand thus serves as a template for additional or short length new uh, nu nucleopeptide uh, called P nucleotides and this process introduce the new sequence at VDJ junction. Another mechanism of junctional diversity is random addition of up to 20 non-template coding nucleotide called any nucleotides. Any region diversization is more common in Ig a heavy chain and it is TCR beta and gamma chain that than it in Ig, K, uh, and lambda chain. This additional new nucleotide is mediated by enzyme TDT. In mice rendered to deficient to TDT gene knockout, the diversity of B and T repertoire is substantially less than uh, in the normal mice. Additional P nucleotide and N nucleotide at the recombination site may introduce a frame shift, theoretically generating a termination codon in two, uh, in two of every three joining segment. If the total number of added bases is not multiple of three, this gene cannot produce functional protein, but such inefficiency in the is the price that is paid for generating a diversity. Because of junctional diversity, antibody and T-cell receptor molecules show the greatest variability at junctional of V and C region, which form the third hypervariable region of um, CDR. In fact, because of junctional diversity, the number of different amino acid sequences that are present in the CDR3 region of Ig and T cell receptor molecule are much greater than the number that can be encoded by germline gene segment. As expected, the CDR complementary determining region, three regions of Ig and T cell molecules are also the most important portion of these molecules for determining the specificity of antigen bindings. Contribution of different mechanism. This is table eight one. Contribution of different mechanism to the generation of uh, diverse immunoglobin T cell, immunoglobin and T cell receptor. Immunoglobin.
hemoglobin T cell receptor, T cell receptor, this mechanism, heavy chain, kappa, lambda, alpha. So you can see the variable in uh, heavy chain. Uh, here, this is in immunoglobin, this is uh, T cell receptor, alpha uh, and beta T cell receptor, gamma and delta. So diversity for heavy chain, 45 for variable region, for kappa, for heavy chain, uh, for kappa 35, for lambda is uh, 30. In T cell, the alpha is 45, the beta is 50. In um, gamma delta, gamma is 5, delta is, five, is, is 2. So you continue looking at this, you'll find that you see, then to find the diversity means that you have to multiply find the diversity. So the potential number of antigen receptor with junctional diversity is much greater than the number that can be generated by only combination of VDJ gene segment. The calculated figure for lymphocyte repertoire magnitude should be considered very gross approximation. The calculation of Ig repertoire do not account for a phenomenon on somatic hypermutation, which is we we'll discussed in chapter uh, 12. Although the theoretical limit to number of Ig and T cell pro protein that can be produced is enormous, the actual number of antigen receptor B and T cell expressed in each individual at one point in time, probably on the order of only 10 power 7 or 10 power 8, this is largely a reflection of, of the finite number of lymphocytes that I, an individual can accommodate at time, at any time. There's, there are a number of clinical applications of our, of our knowledge for junctional diversity. One is determine, determination of chronically lympho, lymphoid tumor that arises from B and T cell. This laboratory test is used for, to identify monoclonal tumor of lymphocyte and to distinguish tumor from poly polychronic proliferation because every lymphocyte clone expresses a unique antigen receptor, a computer determining regions, and the sequence of nucleotide VDJ recombination sites serve as specific marker for each clone. Thus, by determining the sequence of junctional region of Ig or T cell receptor genes in different B and T cell proliferation, one can establish whether this region arose from arose from uh, from single clone indicating tumor or independently from different clone implying non-neoplastic proliferation of lymphocyte. The same method may be used to identify small number of tumor cells in the blood or tissue. Other applications include an analyzing CD uh, complementary determining regions a three sequence of T and B cell in infectious and autoimmune disease and tumor infiltrating lymphocyte in cancer to determine expansion of some clone during immune response. Although this method does not indicate the, that to what antigen uh, the clone might organize. With this background, we proceed to discussion of B lymphocyte development and then maturation of T cell. So, yeah, that was a break, a little bit of break, like two minutes, then we continue. Uh, a little bit of break, then we continue. Three minutes.
we continue. B lymphocyte development. The step in the maturation of B lymphocyte are the rearrangements and expression of Ig Ig genes in a process order selection proliferation of the development B cells at at the pre antigen receptor checkpoint and selection of mature B cell repertoire. The steps in the maturation of B lymphocyte are the rearrangements and expression of Ig gene in a process order selection and proliferation of developing B cell at the pre antigen receptor checkpoint and selection of mature B cell repertoire. Before birth, lymphocytes develop from committed a precursor in the fetal liver, and after birth, the B cells are generated in the bone marrow. The majority of the B lymphocytes arise from the adult bone marrow progenitor that initially do not express Ig. These precursors develop into an immature B cell that expresses membrane bound IgM molecule and then leave the bone marrow to mature further, mainly in the spleen. IgM expressing B cell that emerge from bone marrow into a peripheral blood in human are called the transitional B cell and they ex exit in three distinct stages of maturation. At the late translation of B cell stages, self-reactive cell are inactivated or eliminated in the spleen and the other secondary lymphoid organs. Eventually, eventually, the surviving B cell mature into follicular B cell that ex expresses IgM and IgD on the surface and acquire the ability to re 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 recirculate the populated, the recirculate and populate all secondary lymphoid organ. This follicular B cell home to lymphoid follicular in secondary lymphoid organ and are able to recognize and respond to foreign antigen. The development of a mature B cell from lymphoid progenitor is estimated to take about two to three days in human. Stage of B cell lymphocyte development. During their maturation, uh, during their maturation, cell of the B lymphocyte lineage go through sequential stages, each characterized by distinct cell surface marker and a specific pattern of Ig gene expression. The major stages uh, and the event in each are described next. The pre, the pre B and pre B stage, the pro B and pre B stages of B cell development. The earliest bone marrow cell committed to B cell lineage is the pro B cells. Pro B cells do not produce Ig, but they can be distinguished from the other immature cell by expression of B lineage restricted surface molecules such as CD19 and CD10. RAG1 and RAG2 protein are the first expressed at this stage, and the first recombination of Ig genes occur at the heavy chain locus. This combination bring together 1D and 1J gene segment which with deletion of the intervening DNA. The DNA, the D segment that are three prime of the rearrangement D segment and J segment that are five prime of the rearrangement J segment are deleted by this recombination. D and D1 and J2 to J6 in. After DJ recombinant event, one of the many five primer V gene segment is joined to, to the DJ unity, giving rise to rearrangement V DJ exons. At this stage, all V and D segment between the rearrangement V and D gene segment are also deleted. V to J to V to DJ recombination of at the Ig heavy chain locus occur only in committed B lymphocyte precursor, and it is critical event in Ig expression because 
only the, uh, only the rearrangement of V genes in, is subsequently transcribed. The TDD enzymes which catalyze the addition of junction N nucleotides is expressed mostly abundantly during the pro-B stage when VDJ recombination occur at the IgH locus and the level of TD, TDT decrease before light chain gene VJ recombination is complete. Therefore, junctional diversity attributed to additional of N nucleotide is more prominent in rearranged heavy chain gene than in light chain genes. This is junctional diversity during the joining of different gene segment. Additional or removal of nucleotide may lead to the generation of novel nucleotide and amino acid sequence at junction. Nucleotide P sequence may be added to a symmetric or cleaved hairpin in the templated manner. Other nucleotides N region may be added. This is the site of cleavage, the cleaved one, site of cleavage, the cleaved one, then this one, site of hairpins. Mm. They combine, then you get something new. Non templated manner of action of enzyme temporal deoxonucleotide transferase. These additional generate new sequence that are not present in germline RSS recombination signal sequence. So we have stage of B cell maturation event corresponding to each stage of B cell maturation from bone marrow stem cell to mature follicular B lymphocytes are restricted. Ongoing Ig gene rearrangement implies that the, at this stage there are about these are the gene segment being actively rearranged. Gemline imply that gene locus in question not been altered. Yeah. Proliferate stage of maturation, the proliferation, drug expression, TD expressions. Then from this one you get pro pro to large pre, small pre, immature, then mature. So this is what is happening. The heavy chain C regions exon remain separated from the newly created VDJ exon by DNA containing the distal J segment and the and the J intron, the JC introns. The rearrangement the rearranged the IG heavy chain gene is transcribed to produce a primary transcript that include the rearrangement VDJ exon and the CU exons. Nuclear RNA of the rearrangement heavy chain genes is clived downstream of one of two concessions polyadenination sites and multiple adenine nucleotides called the poly A tail are added to the three prime end. The nuclear RNA undergoes splicing and uh, RNA processing event in which the which the introns are removed and exon joined together in case of mu rna intron between the later exon and the vdj exons between the vdj exon and the first exon of the c mu locus and between each of the subsequent constant region exons of c mu are removed thus giving rise to a spliced messenger RNA encoding the mu heavy chain. If the messenger RNA is derived from an Ig locus, at this rearrangement was productive. If, if the correct reading frame, translation of the rearrangement mu heavy chains, the messenger lead to the synthesis of mu, mu proteins. Approximately half of all pro B cell make a productive rearrangement at IgH locus on at least one chromosome and can thus go on to synthesize mu heavy chain proteins. Only cell that makes productive rearrangement survive and differentiate further. Once the productive Ig mu rearrangement is made, a cell ceases to, to be called pro-B cell and has differentiated into the pre-B stage. Pre-B cells are developing B lineage cell that expresses the Ig mu protein but have yet been yet to rearrange their right 
chain lock. The pre-B cells expresses the mu heavy chain on the cell surface in association with uh, other proteins in the complex called the pre uh, B cell receptor, which has several important roles in B cell maturation. The pre B cell receptor, the complex of mu heavy chain, surrogate light chain, and uh, the signal transducing protein IGA and IG beta form a pre antigen receptor of the B lineage known as the pre B cell receptor. The mu heavy chain associated with the Associated with an uh, associated with uh, gamma five, not gamma. It's uh, associated with um, lambda chain five and um, the the yes the gamma the gamma uh, five and V pre B protein also called surrogate light chain because they are structurally homologous to kappa and lambda light. This is lambda. Lambda light chain, but are invariant. This they are identical in all pre-B cells and are synthesized only in pre in pro B and pre-B cells. This receptor associated associates with a signaling molecule Ig alpha and beta, also known as CD um, CD also known as known as CD also known as CD um, 79A and CD 79B to form the pre uh, B cell receptor complex similar to the B cell complex in mature B cell signals from the pre B cell receptor allow the cell to survive and are responsible for largest proliferative expansion of B lineage cell during B cell development. During this proliferation, synthesis of RAG protein is transiently shut off, so IG's, IG's genes rearrangement is temporarily halted. It is not known if the pre B lymphocyte, pre B, pre um, B cell receptor recognizes any ligand, and the consensus view is that. This receptor function in a ligand independent manner and that it is activated by the process of assembly. The importance of pre-B uh, pre, uh, cell receptor is illustrated by studies of knockout mice and rare cases of human deficiency of this receptor. For instance, in mice engineered deletion of gene encoding the mu chain or, or one of the sur surrogate light chain result in marked to reduce the number of mature uh, reduce the number of mature reduce the number of mature mature B cell because development is blocked at pro B stage so uh, this is a heavy chain light chain what happen is there will be a rearrangement of DNA the V chains transcription will happen then you will have uh, RNA processing, translation, processing, then you have these are protein now produced. Immunoglobin heavy and light chain gene recombination and expression, the sequence of DNA recombination and DNA ex expression event is known, is shown for the immunoglobin uh, mu heavy chain A and the Ig kappa light chain in the example shown in A and V region of heavy chain is encoded by rearrangement of V, D, 2, and J1 gene segment. In the example shown in B, the V region of kappa chain is encoded by V2 and J1 gene segment. So pre-B cell receptor, pre-B you see they have in mu, Inhibition of H chain recombination, allergic exclusion, proliferation of pre B cell, uh, stimulation of kappa light chain recombination, shut off surrogate light chain. Then we have pre T cells, we have inhibition of B, B, uh, beta chains gene recombination, proliferation of pre T cells, stimulation of alpha chain recombination, 
expressing CD4, CD8, shut off PT alpha transcription. So pre B and B cells, those are structure. So let us continue. The expression of pre B uh, pre B uh, B cell receptor is the first checkpoint in B cell maturation. Numer numerous signaling molecule linked to the pre B uh, B cell receptor and um, the B cell receptor in, in mature B cell are required for cell to successfully negotiate the pre B cell receptor mediated checkpoint at pro B to pre B cell transition. I kind of called the Broton tyros kinase is um, activated downstream of the pre B uh, pre B uh, pre B cell receptor and is required for delivery of signal from this uh, pre receptor that mediates survival proliferation and maturation at the beyond the pre-B stages. So a kinase called Bruton tyrosine kinase, BTK, is activated downstream of the pre-B cell receptor and is required for delivering signal from this receptor that mediates survival, proliferation and maturation at and beyond the pre-B cell stage. In human mutation, in uh, the P uh, in the BTK, the Bruton tyrosine kinase gene results in the disease called X linked agama globulinemia, which is characterized by failure of B cell maturation. In mouse strain called XE for X linked immunodeficiency. Mutation in BTK, the Bruton tyros kinase, result in less severe B cell defect because murine pre B cells expresses a second BTK like kinase called the TAC that are partially compensate for defective BTK. Other molecules upstreams and downstream of BTK signaling pathway that are required at this checkpoint include mu chain, mu heavy chain genes, uh, the Lambda five genes, Ig alpha, Ig gamma beta, and Sk Syk, and Bl and K SLP sixty five signaling adapter and P eight five subunit of Pi three kinase. Mutation of these genes are the cause of rare cases of autosomal recessive agammaglobinemia. The pre B as Cell receptor regulate further rearrangement of Ig genes in two ways. First, if a mu protein is produced from the recombinant heavy chain locus on one chromosome and form a pre B cell receptor, this receptor signal is irre irreversibly inhibit inhib this receptor signal to irreversibly inhibit the arrangement of Ig heavy chain locus on other chromosomes. If first rearrangement is non-productive, the heavy chain allele on other chromosome can complete VDJ rearrangement at the Ig lock, IGH, Ig heavy chain locus. Thus, in any B cell clone, one heavy chain allele is productively rearranged and expressed, and other is either retained in the germline configuration or non-productively rearranged. As a result. An individual B cells can express an, an Ig heavy chain protein encoded by only one of the two inherited allele. This phenomenon is called allelic exclusion, and it ensures that every B cell will express a single receptor, thus maintaining a clonal specificity. Ig heavy chain allelic exclusion involve, involves changes in chromatin structure in the heavy chain locus that limit accessibility to the VDJ recombinants. If both allele undergoes non-reproductive IgM gene rearrangement, the developing cell cannot produce Ig heavy chain, cannot generate pre-B uh, cell receptor, depending depends so depends survival signal and undergo programmed cell death. The second way in which pre-B cell regulate the production of the antigen receptor is by stimulating copper light chain gene rearrangement 
pre B cells proliferate to first as larger B as larger pre B cells and then you shut off surrogate light chains genes expressions and become non dividing pre B cells that express the new heavy chains intra intracellularly. These non dividing cells synthesize the rag proteins and are thus able to rearrange the kappa li light chain genes. The pre B cell receptor signal contribute to the marking the cap lambda light chain locus available to enzyme that mediate the VDJ recombination. If any in a frame rearrangement occur at the site, if any in a frame rearrangement occur at K locus, the cell will produce a K light chain product protein, which associate with uh, the previous synthesized mu chain to produce a complete IgM protein. If the K light chain contribute to the self-reactive B cell receptor C below, if the K locus is not productively rearranged, the cell can rearrange the um, the lambda locus and again produce a complete IgM molecule. DNA recombination in copper light chain locus occur in similar manner as in Ig heavy chain locus. There are no there there are, are no D segment in the light chain lock and therefore recombina recombination involve only the the joining of one V um, segment to one J segment forming a VJ exons. This VJ exon remained separated from the C region by an intron. This separation is retained in the primary RNA transcript. Splicing the primary transcript result in the removal of intron between the VJ and C exons and generate a messenger RNA that is translated to produce the kappa and the lambda protein. In the lambda uh, locus, alternative RNA splicing may lead to the use of any, other, any one of four functional uh, C uh, lambda exons, but there is no known biological difference between the resulting types of uh, lambda light chain. Production of kappa protein prevent lambda rearrangement. And lambda rearrangement occur only if the kappa rearrangement are uh, in both the inherited kappa chain lock were non-productive or more commonly if rearrangement kappa light chain is deleted by receptor editing because it contributes to the formation of self-reactive B cell receptor discussed later. As a result, an individual B cell clone can express only one of the two types of light chain which this phenomenon is called light chain isotope exclusion as in the heavy chain locus, A kappa and lambda gene is expressed from only one of the two parental chromosomes in any given B cell, and the other inherited locus is excluded. Also, as for heavy chain, if both inherited lock for both kappa and lambda chain are non-functional, rearrangement in developing B cell that cell failed to receive survival signal that are normally degenerate normally generated by B cell receptor and dyes. Immature, immature B cells. The first IgM expressing cell during B cell development is called an immature B cell. The assembled IgM molecule on immature B cell and in all later stages of development are expressed on the cell surface in association with Ig alpha and beta and beta, where they function as specific receptor for antigen. The presence of a complete B cell receptor on the cell surface is essential for developing B cell to survive. They are survive they, there are a survival signal provided by B cell receptor alone in the absence of any triggering antigen, and these are called a tonic signal. Assembly of these complete B, uh, B cell receptor to suffice to activate signaling molecule, including PI3 kinase, that keep the B cell alive. 
this signal um, also suppresses the RAG gene's expression, thus preventing further IG gene rearrangement. Immature B cell uh, do not proliferate and differentiate in, re in response to antigen. In fact, it, if they are recognized antigen in the bone marrow with a high avidity, which may occur if the B cell expresses receptor for multivalent self-antigen that are present in bone marrow, the B cell may undergo receptor editing or cell death, as described later. These processes are important um, for negative selection of strongly select self-reactive B cells. Immature B cells that are not strongly self-reactive leave the bone marrow and complete their maturation in the spleen and other lymphoid organs. Subset of mature B cells. B cell in the peripheral are made of distinct subsets that develop from different progenitors. Bone marrow derived um, HSC hematopoietic stem cells give rise to the majority of B cells. These cells, also called B2 cells, rapidly pass through two transitional stages and can commit development de to commit to development either into marginal B cells or into follicular B cell. B1 cell represents a distinct lineage that developed from the fetal liver derived from a, a hematopoietic stem cells. Follicular B cell. Most immature B cells belong to follicular B cells subset and produce membrane associated IgD in addition to IgM. Each of these B cells co express the mu and delta Ig heavy chains using the same VDJ exon to generate the B domains. In each B cell, these heavy chain proteins associate with the same kappa and lambda light chain to produce two membrane. A receptor with the same antigen specificity. Each B cell produces a long primary RNA transcript containing the rearrangement of VDJ unit that encode the V domains as well as both CU, C mu, and C delta genes. If primary transcript is cleaved and poly polyadenylated after the U uh, mu exons after uh, RNA splicing, and the v VDJ exon become Condiguous with this C mu exon, resulting in the generation of uh, mu messenger RNA. If, however, the VDJ complex is not linked to C mu exon, but it is spliced to C C uh, delta exon, and delta messenger RNA is, is produced, subsequent translation results in the synthesis of a completely mu and delta heavy chain protein, both containing the same V region and therefore having the same specificity. The precious mechanism that regulates the choice of polyadenylation or splice acceptor sites by which the rearrangement of VDJ is joining to either a C mu or C delta are poorly understood as a, the high, the, as a signal that determine when and why B cell expresses both IgM and IgD rather than IgM alone. So you see this one is from the bone marrow. B2, B1 is from the liver. They develop together. Everyone and uh, later on you see the IgM CD5 uh, B1 cell. We have the B2 cell. These are coming from bone marrow. Uh, and uh, the most of them they mature in the spleen. Then they have the IgM uh, transitional uh, B2, B cells, and uh, we have follicular and marginal. Most of them, they are they, um, follicular. The co-expression of IgM and IgD is accompanied by the ability to recirculate and the acquisition of functional competence. And this is why IgM, IgD, B cell are also called mature B cell. This correlation between expression of IgD and acquisition of functional competence has led to the suggestion that IgD is the essential activator activating receptor of mature B cell. However, there is no evidence for the functional difference between membrane IgM and membrane IgD. Moreover, knockout of the IgD, Ig delta gene in mice does not have significant impact on the maturation or antigen-induced response of B cells. Follicular B cell are also often called recirculating B cell because 
they migrate from one secondary lymphoid organ to next and within this organ they reside in follicle so we have this one the primary messenger rna uh, the primary rna transcript the l vg day the so they combine we have the mu heavy chain the delta chains these are co-expressed together in a, in a, in a b cell Naive follicular B cells survive for a limited period until they encounter antigen. Follicular B cells survive depend on tonic active act antigen, independent signal from the B cell receptor as well as the stimulation by cytokine called BAF, B cell activating factor of the N tumor necrosing factor family, also known as BILs, for B lymphocyte stimulators which provide the maturation and survival signal through BAF receptor. The BAF, BAF and uh, uh, related ligands, April, also can bind to two uh, other receptors, TAC and BCMA, which participate in the larger stage of B cell activation and differentiation. These cytokines are produced by specialized fibroblastic reticular cells and uh, Reticular cells and uh, by myeloid cells in lymphoid follicular and in bone marrow. Naive follicular B cell, like re recycling naive T cell, leave lymph nodes through different uh, through, through efferent lymphatic into the blood and return to the lymph nodes via high endothelial venules. Mature naive B cell are res are responsible to antigen and unless they cell. Unless, unless the cell encounter antigen that they have recognized with high affinity and respond, they die in few months. In chapter 12, we will discuss how these cells respond to antigen and how the pattern of Ig gene expression changes during antigenic induced cell differentiation. B1 and marginal zone B cell. <clears throat> A subset of B lymphocyte called B1 cells expresses antigen receptor with uh, limited diversity and may serve roles in humoral immunity that are different from those of follicular B cell. B1 cell de developed from a fetal liver derived uh, hematopoietic stem cell and uh, the best defined in rodent. Most immune B1 cells expresses the CD5 molecule. After birth, large number of these cells are found as self renewal population in the peritoneum and mucosa sites. The, they, they develop earlier during the antigens than follicular and marginal zone, uh, marginal zone cells, expresses a relatively limited repertoire of V genes and exhibit far less junctional diversity than conventional B cell B than conventional B cell because of TD is not expressed in developing B1 cell in fetal liver. B1 cell spontaneously secrete IgM antibodies that are often react with the microbial polysaccharide and, lim and lipid as well as the oxidized lipid introduced by lipid periodization. Most IgM antibodies against ABO blood group antigen are derived from the B1 cells. These antibodies are sometimes called natural antibodies because they are present in individuals without overt immunization. It is possible that microbial flora in the gut are the source of antigen that stimulate the production, the production, their production. B1 cell contribute to the rapid antibody production against microbes in particular tissue such as peritoneum. At the mucosa site, many IgA secreting plasma cell in lamina propria may be derived from B1 cells. B1 cells are analogs of uh, alpha delta uh, delta T cell in in that they both have antigen receptor repertoire of limited diversity and they have both presumed to respond to antigen that are commonly encountered in epithelial uh, interface with the external environment. B1 like cell have been described in human but phenotypically this population overlaid with the activated B cell Marking, making a human B cell harder to define. Marginal zone B cells are located primarily in the vicinity of marginal sinus in the spleen, in, in, in the spleen and they like B cells have limited diversity respond to polysaccharide antigen and produce a natural antibodies. 
marginal Amazon B cells exit in bosmythin human and expresses IgM in absence of IgD and additional surface receptor that distinguish them from uh, follicular B cells. Human marginal zone B cell cell cannot be distinguished from IgM producing memory cell. In mice, marginal cell marginal zone B cells exist only in spleen, and whereas in the human they can be found they can be found in a, in the spleen as well as outside the follicular area near the peripheral of uh, of lymph nodes. So they are found in spleen as well as outside follicular area near the peripheral of lymph nodes. Marginal zone B cells respond very rapidly to blood-borne microbes and differentiate into short-lived IgM secreting plasma cells. These B cells can also participate in T uh, dependent immune response. Selection of mature B cell repertoire. The, the, the repertoire for, of mature B cell is positively and negatively selected from pool of immature B cell. As we, as we see, as we, as we will see later, positive selection is well defined in T lymphocyte and is responsible for matching the T cell receptor on newly generated the CD8 and CD4 T cell with their ability to recognize self class 1 and class 2 MHC molecule respectively. There is no complete, uh, there's no compar comparable restriction of for B cell antigen recognition. Nevertheless, positive selection appear to be a general phenomenon primarily geared in to identifying lymphocytes that have successfully com completed their antigen receptor gene rearrangement programs. Only B cell that expresses functional membrane Ig molecule molecule can receive tonic B uh, B cell receptor derived signal, which are described earlier as required to keep immature B cell alive. Immature B cell that recognize self antigen with high ability are often induced to change their specificity by the process of receptor editing. Self antigen recognition by immature B cell induces reac reactivation of RAG genes and rearrangement and production of a new Ig light chain, how allowing the cell to express different editing B cell receptor that is not self reactive. The original VK, V kappa and J kappa exon encoding the variable domain of autoreactive light chain gene is typically deleted and replaced by new rearrangement involved in the upstream of V kappa and uh, downstream of J kappa gene segment. If the editing process failed to generate an in frame productive kappa light chain, Arrangement on uh, either chromosomes, the activated immature B cell may then go on to rearrange the light chain first on one chromosome, and if that is not that is non-productive, then the um, the lambda light chain on the other chromosomes. Almost all B cell bearing lambda life chain are likely derived from immature B cell that were self-reactive. And have undergone receptor editing. If receptor editing fails, immature B cell that expresses high affinity receptor for self antigen and encounter this antigen in the bone marrow or the spleen may die by apoptosis. This process is called negative selection. Both negative selection occur in a transitional transitional B cell in spleen. The anti both negative selections occur in transitional B cell in spleen. The antigen mediating mediated negative selection deliver a strong signal to uh, IgM expressing mature B cell lymphocyte whose receptor has happened to be specific for this self antigen. Both the receptor editing and deletion are responsible for maintaining B cell tolerance to self antigen that are present in the bone marrow. Once transition is made to IgM, IgD. Mature B cell stage antigen recognitions lead to proliferation and differentiation, not to a receptor editing or apoptosis. As a result, mature B cell and uh, mature B cell that recognize antigen with high affinity in peripheral lymphoid tissue are activated, and this process lead to the 
humoral immune response. Follicular B cell make the most of the helper T cell dependent antibodies antibody response to protein antigens. Now we talk about T lymphocyte development. lymphocyte development. The development of mature T lymphocytes from committed progenitor involves the sequential rearrangement and expression of T cell receptor genes, cell proliferation, antigen-inducing selection, and, commit and commitment to a phenotypical and functional distinct subset. In many ways, this is similar to B cell maturation. However, T cell maturation has some unique features that reflect a specificity of majority of T cell lymphocyte for peptide antigen bound to self MHC molecules and need and the need for a special microenvironment for selecting cells with this specificity. So as normal, here are the stages of T cell maturation event corresponding to each stage. T cell maturation from the bone marrow stem cells to mature a lymphocyte are restricted. Several surface markers addition, in addition to those shown have been used to define distinct stages of T cell maturation. Lymphocyte uh, in the cortex lacking CD4 and CD8 expressing are called double negative uh, or DNT cells and are further subdivided into stages based on the expression of the of T cell markers. CD25 and CD44, the CD44, CD25 cell in the cortex have that have recently arrived from bone marrow and located at, in, at the cortical medulla junction are sometimes called DN1 T cell uh, or pro T cell and are corresponding to the pro B cells stage of uh, B maturation. CD44, CD25 lymphocytes are present in mid-cortex and often referred to the uh, DNA, DN2T cells. These are committed to becoming T cell and it is uh, at this stage that T cell receptor beta and T cell receptor gamma and, and T cell receptor delta rearrangement commences. CD45 and CD25 lymphocytes are also known as DN3 T cells. The in, an immediate be, an intermediate between DN3 and double positive cells have been called DN4 subset. So this is the structure that we are talking about. The proliferation we will have stem cell, pro T cell, pre T cell, double positive cells, then in single positive immature T cell, then mature will have them. And we'll see on how these things are happening together. Let us go. Role of thermos in T cell maturation. The thermos is the major site of maturation for T cells. The thermos involute with age and is visually und un un undetectable in the postpubertal human resulting in a gradual gra re reduction uh, in output of mature T cells. However, some maturation of T cells continue throughout adult life as indicated by a successful reconstruction of the immune system in adult recipient of bone marrow transplant. It may be that the remnant of the involved thermos is adequate for some T cell maturation because Memory T cells have a long lifespan, perhaps longer than 20 years in human, and accumulate with age. The need to generate new T cell decreases as individual age. T, T lymphocytes originate from precursors that arise in the fetal liver and adult bone marrow and seed the thermos. 
These precursors are multipotent progenitor that enter the thermos from the bloodstream, crossing the endothelial posterior venules in a, in a corticomedural junction region of the thermos. In mice, immature lymphocytes are first detected in the thermos on the 11th days of the normal uh, 21 gestation. Um, So this corresponds to the about uh, seven to eight weeks gestation in human. While in the cortex, thymocyte first express gamma delta and alpha beta T cell receptor. The alpha beta T cell mature into CD4 class two MHC restricted or CD8 class one MHC restricted T cell as they leave the cortex and enter the medulla. From medulla, CD4 plus and CD8 plus single positive thermocyte exit the thermos into circulation. We will discuss the maturation of alpha beta T cells in the following section and the gamma delta in later, later in the chapter. The thermic environment provides stimuli that are required for the proliferation and the maturation of thermo thermocytes. Many of these stimulants come from the thermos cells other than the maturi maturing T cell. Within the cortex, thermic cortical epithelial cells from meshwork of long cytoplasmic process around which thermocytes must path reach the medulla. Epithelial cells of distinct type known as medullary thermic epithelial cells are also present in medullary and may serve a unique roles in presenting self antigen for negative selection of developing T cell. Bone marrow derived dendritic cells are present on the corticomedullary junction and within the medulla, and macrophage are present cap primarily within the medulla. The migration of thermocytes through this anatomical arrangement allow physical interaction between thermocyte and the and the and these other cells that are necessary for maturation and selection uh, of T lymphocytes epithelial cells and dendritic cells in thermos expresses class 1 and uh, class 2 molecules the interaction mature the in interaction of maturing thermocyte with these MHC molecules are essential for the selection of mature T cell repertoire as we will discuss later the movement of cells into, uh, into and through the thermos is driven by chemokines. The progenitor of thermocyte expresses chemokines receptor CCRF9. Entry of this precursor into thermos is dependent of CCR binding or the chemokines ligands CCL225, which is produced in thermic cortex. Chemokines such as CCR21 CCR, CCL, CCL, CCL19, which bind to CCR7 chemokines receptor on thymocyte, direct the movement of development of T cells from the cortex to the medulla. Eventually, newly formed T lymphocyte, with, which expresses the sphingosines 1 phosphatase receptor, exit the thymic medulla following gradient of sphingosine. Sphingosine 1 phosphate into the bloodstream. Thermic stromal cells, including epithelial cells, secrete interleukin 7, which was mentioned earlier as critical lympho lymphopoietic growth factor. The rate of cell proliferation and the apoptotic death are extremely high in cortical lymphocyte. A single precursor gives rise to many progenitor, and 95 of these cells die by apoptosis before reaching the medulla. The cell death is due to combination of factors including failure to, pro to, to productively rearrange the T cell receptor B chains genes and thus fail to, uh, to pre to pre TCR to fa then fail the pre PCR pre TCR B selection checkpoint described later. Failure to be positively selected by self. Uh, MHC molecule in thermos and self antigen induced negative selection. Study of T cell maturation. 
during T cell maturation, there is a precise order in which T cell genes are rearranged and in which the T cell receptor and CD4, CD8 co-receptors co are expressed. In mouse fetal thymus, surface expresses expression of delta, delta gamma, uh, gamma delta T cell receptor occur first three to four weeks after precursor cell first after precursor cell first arrive and the alpha beta is expressed two to three days later in human fetothermus alpha delta t cells t cell receptors expression begin at a, about nine weeks of gestation following by expression of uh, alpha beta t cell at 10 weeks Double negative thymocytes. The most immature thymocytes, which are recent, which are recent arrival from the bone marrow, contain T cell receptor genes in their germline configuration and do not express T cell receptor CD3 um, epsilon uh, uh, zeta chain CD4 and CD8 these cells are called double negative thymocyte based on the lack of expression of CD4 and CD8 the majority of greater than 90% of the uh, double negative thymocyte that survive thymic selection process will ultimately give rise to uh, alpha beta T cell expression MHC restricted the CD4 CD8 T cell some Double negative thymocyte give rise to uh, gamma delta T cell. The earlier largely, the earliest largely and differentiated double negative thymocytes are located near the cortical medullary junction and are, and are beginning to migrate toward the mid cortex. They are not committed to T lineage. It is it is at the next stage of cortical thermos differentiation in the mid cortex of double double negative thermos expression both CD44 and CD25 are considered to be the pro T cell stage maturation and start rearrangement they are T cell receptor genes rag1 and rag2 uh, proteins are first expressed in the at this stage of T cell development and are required for rearrangement of T cell receptor genes in alpha and beta T cells, uh, delta D beta and uh, J beta rearrangement at the T cell, uh, T, T cell receptor B chain occur, occurs, occur first. This involves either joining the um, D uh, beta 1 gene segment 1 of the 6 J beta 1 segment or joining the D beta 2 segment to one of the six segment V V beta and DJ beta the arrangement occur the next pre stage in the cortex the DNA sequence between uh, the segment undergoing rearrangement include DJ and possibly C uh, beta 1 genes if uh, D beta 2, J beta 2 segment are used, are deleted during this rearrangement process. The primary nuclear transition of a T cell receptor beta genes contain an intron between the recombinant, recombined VDJ beta exon and the relevant. C bit uh, the C genes as well as the three additional intron between uh, four exons that make up uh, each C beta genes. Poly A tail are added for the cleavage of the primary transcripted downstream concessors polypeptide polyadenylation site located at three prime of the C uh, beta region and concessors between the VDJ exon and the C uh, 
she better uh, spliced out from mature mRNA in which VDJ segment uh, gives the positive to first axon of uh, either the two CB C uh, constant J beta genes depending on which segment they selected during the arrangement process. Translation of this messenger RNA gives rise to the full length T, T cell receptor B protein. The two C uh, beta genes appear to be functionally interchangeable and the use of either C beta genes does not influence the specificity of the T cell receptor. Furthermore, an individual T cell a cell never switched from one from C genes to another. The promoter in a five five flanking region of VB genes function together with the powerful enhancer that is located in three in three uh, located in three prime and the of three prime of the CB beta genes once the arrangement function of G V genes are brought close to the C genes by VDJ recombination. This proximity of the promoter to enhancer to the enhancer is responsible for high level T cell specific transcription of the rearranged T cell receptor beta chain gene. After additional and removal of nucleotide during T cell receptor gene rearrangement, the number of new nucleotide in the T cell receptor beta chains uh, genes are multiple of three. In one of the two inherited T cell receptor beta lock in, in only about half of all developing pre-B T cells and therefore only approximately half of the a half of all developing developing pre-T pre cells expresses T cell receptor proteins. The next step is in a T cell development select cells that express the first chain of antigen receptor and can pass this checkpoint. So this is an overview of T cell development in thymus. Precursor of T cells travel from the bone marrow through the bone marrow thymus. The progenitor alpha beta cells are double negative cell in the thymus cortex. These cells begin to express T cells receptor, T cell receptor and uh, CD4 and CD8 uh, co-receptor selection process and elimin eliminate self-reactive T cells in the cortex as uh, at double positive a double positive and promote survival so selection process eliminates self-reactive cell cortex in the double positive stage also eliminate single positive and rural thermos they promote survival of thermos thermocyte whose T cell receptor bind self major histocompatibility complex molecule with the low affinity functional and phenotypical differentiation into CD4, CD8 negative, CD8 plus CD4 negative cell occur in a medulla and mature cells are released into the circulation. Uh, some DP cells differential into the CD4, CD8 negative regulatory T cells. Pre-T pre cell receptors, if a pro productive, this is in a frame, rearrangement of T cell receptor beta chains genes occur in a given double negative T cells, the T cell receptor chains is expressed on the cell surface in association with an invariant protein called protein preta, which is along with a CD3 and uh, zeta proteins form the pre T cell complex. The pre T cell medi mediates the selection of developing pre. Uh, T cell that have successfully rearranged the, B, the beta chains of the T cell. 
the function of pre T cell receptor complex in T cell development is similar to that of surrogate light chain containing pre uh, pre B cell receptor uh, complex in B cell development. Signal from the signal from the pre T cell receptor. Signal from the pre T cell receptor selects that have already product select uh, signal from uh, pre T cell receptor select T cell that have uh, productively rearranged the T cell receptor beta chains genes and mediate the survival of these pre pre T cells contribute to the highest proliferative uh, expansion during T cell development and uh, and drive the transition from the double negative to um, double positive stage of thermocytes uh, development. In addition, this this signal signal uh, this signal inhibition inhibitors further inhibit the further rearrangement of T cell receptor, better chance locus to the on the unrelated RL. This is this result in beta chain RL exclusion. The mature T cells expresses an antigen receptor chain from only one of the two inherited beta chain lock as in as the, as in the in the pre B cell it is not known what if the ligand ligand what known if ligand the T cell receptor recognize pre, pre T cell receptor signal like pre B cell signaling may be initiated in a league and independent independent manner after a successful assess, assembly of pre of pre T cell complex. Pre T cell receptor signaling is mediated by number of cytosolic kinase and adapter protein that are also linked to T cell receptor signaling. This essential function of the pre T cells complex in T cells maturation have been demonstrated by numerous studies which are uh, numerous study with genetically matured mice in which lack of any component of pre Lack of any component of pre. Uh, the essential function of the pre T cells complex in T cell maturation has been demonstrated by numerous studies in which genetic genetically mutated mice, in which lack of any component of pre T cell complex or associated signaling molecules. This is the T cell beta chains pre um, pre. Pre uh, T cell alpha CD4 CD3 um, zeta and LCK result in block in maturation of the of the T cell at the double negative stage. CD CD3 also mu mu mutation in human in human in human result in skid we will see it in chapter 21 whereas mutation in uh, mutation in lck in uh, human result in the near absence of cd4 t cells cd4 cd4 cells are affected more because stronger lck signal are required for cd4 plus than cd8 t cell development during positive selection and discussed later. Double positive thermocyte. At the next stage of T cell maturation, thermocytes express both CD4 uh, and CD8 and are called double positive T cell. The expression of CD4 and CD8 is essential for subsequent selection event. The rearrangement of T cells alpha chains genes and expression of T cell receptor alpha delta heterodimers occur in CD4 
plus and CD8 plus double positive population soon after after cell cross the pre T cell receptor checkpoints and 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 you see the figure 8.8 and 8.19 a second wave rag genes expression related in the pre stage promote the T cell receptor alpha genes recombinant because there are, there are no D segment in the T cell receptor alpha locus, the arrangement consists of the joining of only V and J segment and large number of J alpha segment permit multiple attempt at productive VJ joining on each chromosome, thereby increasing the probability that functional alpha beta T cell receptor will be produced. In contrast to T cell receptor beta chains locus, where production of the protection and the formation of uh, pre, pre T cells suppress further rearrangement, there is little or no allelic exclusion in the chain locus. Therefore, therefore, productive T cell receptor alpha rearrangement may occur on both chromosomes and if this happen the T cell will express two alpha chain in fact up to 30 percent of mature peripheral T cells expresses two different T cell receptor with different alpha chains but the same beta chains in the in each cell it is possible that only one of the two different T cell receptor participate in cell full message uh, uh, MHC uh, drive and positive selection described later. Transcription regressions of the of the alpha chain genes occur in manner similar to that of B chains. They are they are <coughs> they are promoter five prime of each V R uh, V alpha genes that have low level activity and responsible for high level T cell uh, specific transcription. When brought close to an to an alpha chain in hence located three primer of uh, C alpha genes. And successful rearrangement of T cell T cell receptor genes T cell receptor gene on both chromosomes lead to the failure of positive selection discussed later. Thermocyte of alpha beta T cells lineage that fail to make productive rearrangement of T cell receptor alpha chain will die by apoptosis so these are the these are just process uh, you will see them T cell receptor alpha beta chain genes recombinations uh, that is co happening so T cell receptor alpha gene expressions or at double positive stage lead to the formation of the complete alpha beta T cell receptor which is expressing on a cell surface in association with the CD3 and the um, Zeta protein, the coordinated expression of CD3 and uh, uh, Zeta proteins and assembly of intact T cell receptor complex are required for surface expression. The arrangement and expression of the T cell receptor alpha genes at double positive stage result in deletion of the T cell receptor delta locus that lies between uh, V segment or commonly of both uh, alpha and beta log alpha and the uh, and delta uh, log and J alpha segment as a result this T cell is not no longer capable of becoming a gamma delta T cell and is committed to alpha beta T cell lineage. The expression of RAG genes and further, further uh, T cell receptor genes recombination cease after this stage of maturation. The double positive thermocyte that successfully undergo selection pro process go on to mature into CD4 and uh, CD, uh, CD8 cell which are called single positive T cell that the stage of T cell maturation in the thermos can be distinguished by the expression of CD4 and CD8. This phenom phenom phenomic maturation is accompanied by um, 
commitment to different functional program upon activation in secondary lymphoid organs. CD4 and CDT, CD8 T cells acquire unique properties during their maturation. CD4 cells are able to produce different cytokines in response to antigen stimulation and to express different effector molecules, CD40 ligands that activate B lymphocyte and the dendritic cell and the macrophage and uh, CD8 cells are able to produce molecules that kill others, mature single uh, positive thiamocyte into the thiamatic medulla and then, and then leave the thymus to produce peripheral lymphocyte tissue. Selection process in, mature, in, in the maturation of MHC are restricted alpha beta cells. The selection of developing T cell is dependent on the recognition of antigens, peptide MHC complex in the thymus, and it is responsible for preserving useful cells and eliminating potential harmful cells. So the immature or unselected repertoire of T cell consists of cells whose receptor may recognize any peptide antigen self or for foreign displayed by NMYC molecules also self or, anti, uh, self or foreign. In addition, a receptor may theoretically be expressed that do not recognize any peptide MSC molecule complex. In every individual, the only useful T cell are the ones specific for, specific for, for foreign peptide presented by, the, by that individual MSC molecule that is self MSC molecule. When double positive stomachs first express the alpha beta T cell receptor, these receptors encounter self self peptide are only only peptide normally present in human thermos displayed by cell full MSC molecule. The only uh, MSC molecules are available to display. Main of the thermic epithelial cells in the cortex thus form the many T cell receptor signal. Spe specialities that are produced, the ones that recognize self MHC have been preserved, and self peptide recognition have been pres has to preserve specificity of foreign antigen. We describe this process in the next section. Positive selection and thumb thumb thermocyte development of self. MSC restricted T cell repertoire. Positive, positive selection is the process in which thermocyte whose T cell receptor bind with low affinity. This is weakly to self peptide self MSC complex are stimulated to survive and, and to differentiate either to CD4 T cell or CD8 T cell. Double positive summers are the produced without antigenic stimulation and begin to express alpha beta T cell receptor. <clears throat> in the thermos cortex, these immature cells encounter epithelial cells that display a variety of self peptide bond to, M to MHC class 1 and MHC class 2 MHC molecules. Weak recognition of this self peptide self MHC complex promote the survival of selected uh, T cell. Thermic is those receptors do not uh, recognize self MHC molecule are permitted to die by default pathway of process. This is phenomenon is called death by neglect. During transition from double positive to a single positive cell, thermic whose uh, TCRS, TCRC um, recognize self class one molecule MHC molecule become CD eight T cell. And um, the one that is uh, uh, CD4 and the cell with CD4 negative and the cell with the TCRI, T cell receptor that recognizes class 2 molecule become CD4 plus and CD8 negative. Thus, these cells become committed to CD4 or CD8 lineage. Two models have been proposed to explain the process of lineage uh, commitment as a result of which the core receptor are correctly matched with a T cell receptor that recognizes a specific class of MC molecules. The stochastic or probab probabilistic 
a model suggests that commitment of immunity cell toward either lineage depend on the random probability of the double positive selection uh, into the single uh, single single positive CD4 plus or CD8 plus thymocyte. In this level, newly uh, newly generated the single positive CD4 T cell that has T cell T cell receptors that are that can recognize self plus MHC molecule and peptide in thymus with low affinity to survival because it may it can engage the CD8 T cell receptor, but newly generated CD8 T cell whose whose T cells T cell uh, T cell receptor recognize only self class MHC and the peptide with low uh, affinity does not survive because its core receptor does not help to trigger the T cell receptor on this T cell. Similarly, only single positive MH, single positive CD4 plus T cell whose T cells can recognize self class two molecule peptide are not self and not self class one MHC and peptide with low affinity will be assumed to survive positive selection in this stochastic model. An alternative and more widely accepted view is that the process of lineage commitment linked to positive selection in is driven by spe specific signal that instruct the double positive uh, to happen, double positive cell to become CD4 or CD8. According to this instructional model, class one molecule, class two molecules, um, restricted, class one molecule, MHC molecule, class two MHC molecules are uh, restricted. T cell delivers different signal that actively induce expression of correct core receptors shut off expression of other receptor. It is known that double positive cells go through stages at which they they express the high CD4 and low CD8. If the T cell, a T cell receptor on surface cell in class uh, class one MHC restricted. When it, when it is seems the appropriate class of or MHC one MHC one MH class one MHC and self peptide it will receive the weak signal because level of CD eight receptor co receptor are low and it is and the, in additional CD eight associate less well with the LCK thyrosine cancer than does CD four. This weak signal activate activate transcription factors such as RONAX3 and maintain CD48 T cell phenotype by regulating the expression of CD8 genes and silencing the CD4 genes. <coughs> Consequently, if the T cell receptor on the cell in class 1 molecule restricted when it sees the class 2 MSC, it will receive a stronger signal because CD4 uh, cells are high. And the CD4 associated with LCK. This strong signal activates the transmission factor GATA3, which commits cells toward the CD4, CD4 fate and induce expression of an X3 repressor called the THPOC. Which prevent the expression of lineage, uh, lineage, lineage defining gene of CD4, CD8, and T cell, CD8 T cell. These are CD4 and CD8 expression on in thermocyte and maturation of T cell in thermos. The, the maturation of thermos can be followed by changes in expression of CD4 and CD8 co-receptor.
Um, we see this is negative selection in the medullary. You see, so like this is a double double positive. From the double positive, there are those um, single positive and the single positive other one. So let us continue here. Peptide bonded to MHC molecule on thermic epithelial cell play an essential role in positive selection. In chapter 60, we, des we described how MHC molecules that are expressed on the cell surface always contain bone peptide. These MHC, MHC associated peptide on the thermic antigen presenting cell probably are uh, probably serves two roles in positive selection. First, they promote stable cell surface expression of MHC molecule, and second, they maintain uh, they they may influence the specificity of T cells that are selected. It is also clear from variety of experimental study that some peptide are better than other in supporting positive selection. And different peptide differ in repertoire of T cell they select. This result suggests that specific antigen recognition and not just MHC uh, recognition has, has some roles in positive selection. In chapter 6, we described a unique pre, pre asoma U subunity, beta 5T. That is expressed only in thermic corticoepithelial epithelial cell in protosome called the thymoproteosomes. This function will alter the protein protosome, generate a unique self peptide that contribute to self to positive selection on class 1 MSC expressing on the thermic cortical epithelial cells. Similar cathepsin V. A human equivalent of murin caspsin L is expressed in spe, spe, is expressed specifically in thermic cortical epithelial cell and uh, generate a unique class two MHC binding peptide that are also used in positive selection in thermic cortex. There is evidence from local mice and human polymorphi polymorphism in in the gene encoding B beta five T that the generation of unique peptide in thermic cortex reduces the likelihood of autoreactivity in the pool of positive selected T cell. The model for positive selection based on the weak recognition of self antigen raises the fundamental question. How does <coughs> positive selection driven by weak recognition of self antigen produce a repertoire of mature T cell a specific for foreign antigen? They, they, the likely answer is that the positive selection allow many different T cell clones to survive, and many many of these T cell uh, cell that recognize self peptide with low affinity will, after maturing, recognize foreign peptide with a high enough affinity to activate and generate a useful immune response. Concept of uh, negative selection. <clears throat> Central tolerance. Thermocytes whose receptor recognize peptide MHC complex in the thermos with the high ability undergo apoptosis called negative selection or differentiate into regulatory T cell. Among the double positive T cells that are generated in immune, in immune thermos, some, some may express T cell receptor that recognize self antigen with high affinity. The peptide present in thermos are self peptide derived from widely expressed protein antigen and from some protein thought to be restricted in particular tissue. Recall that microbes that enter through the common root, this is epithelial, are captured and transported to the lymph node and tend to not to be enter the thermos, not to enter the thermos. The immature T cell, a major consequence of higher avidity antigen recognition, is the triggering of apoptosis leading to death or deletion of the cells. Therefore, many of the immature thermos, thermocytes that expresses higher affinity uh, receptor for self-antigen in the thermos die 
resulting from negative selection of the T-cell repertoire. This process eliminates the potentially most dangerous self self-reactive T cell and is one of the mechanisms the self tolerance, ensuring that immune system does not respond to many self antigen. Tolerance induced in the immature lymphocyte by recognition of self antigen in the generative or central lymph organ is called the central tolerance to be to be constructed with a peripheral tolerance induced in mature lymphocyte by self-antigen in peripheral tissue. We will discuss the mechanism and physiology, physiological, physiological importance of immunological tolerance in more detail in chapter 15. The deletion of immature self-reactive T cell may occur at both double positive stage in the cortex and newly generated uh, single positive T cell in medulla. The thermic antigen presenting cell that mediate the negative selection at the double positive stage are corticothermic epithelial cell, which mediates the positive selection. The negative selection of the single positive thermic may be mediated by bone marrow derived DC and uh, macrophage, which are abundant in the medulla and as well as the medulla thermic epithelial cell. Single positive single positive T cells are drawn to the thermic medulla uh, by chemo chemokines. In the medulla, medulla, medulla is thermic epithelial cells express a nuclear protein called iron, autoimmune regulator, that induces low level of, low level expression of many self antigen that are normally expressed only in the specific peripheral organ, so called the tissue rest restricted antigen. There are dependent expression in these. Um, Thermic therm thermos makes the, these tissue specific antigen available for presentation to immune cell T cell, facilitating the, the, the deletion or negative selection of this cell. A mutation in the gene that encode air results in the autoimmune pol pol polyendocrine syndrome, unders underscoring the importance of air in the mediating. Uh, central tolerance to tissue specific antigen. The mechanism of negative selection in the thermos is induction is in is the induction of death of apoptosis. Unlike the unlike the phenomena of the of death by death by neglect, which occur in absence of positive selection, in negative selection active death promoting signal are generated when T cell of T cell receptor of immature thermos bind with high affinity to antigen. The T cell signaling may induce expression of proaptotic protein called BIM, which probably play an important role in thermic apoptosis during negative selection. It is also clear that although high avidity antigen recognition by immature T cell trigger apoptosis, the same recognition by mature lymphocyte in the consent with other signal initiative proliferative T cell response. The biochemical basis of this fundamental difference in response to mature, immature and mature cell is not known. Recognition of self antigen in thermos can generate population of CD4 regulatory T cell that function to prevent autoimmune reaction. It is not clear which factor determine the choice between two alternative fates of immature T cell uh, that recognize the self antigen with higher virility, namely the T, uh, namely the deletion of immature T cell or development of regulatory T cell. One possibility is that weak signal induces positive selection by thermos, thermostacite, strong signal induces negative selection. And, in that, and intermediate signal induced differentiation into T reg. So, I'm repeating, one possibility that in, in, in one possibility is that weak signal induced positive selection of therm, thermocytes, strong, strong signal induced negative selection, and intermediate uh, induced the process of uh, we call. Uh, differentiation T-reg. But how 
the level of signal is controlled and how they influence the fate of development T-cell is not clear. Whereas CD28 is not required for development of CD4 plus CD8 T-cell, this cosmetic receptor is required for generation of some t reg in thermos. The alpha delta T lymphocyte. The T cell receptor alpha and beta and uh, gamma delta. This is gamma delta T lymphocyte. The T cell receptor alpha beta and uh, gamma delta express thermocyte as separate lineage with a common precursor. In fetal thermocytes, the first TC uh, genes rearrangement involve the gamma and delta lock. The combination of TCR, gamma, and delta lock proceed in a fashion similar to that of other antigen receptor genes rearrangement. Although the same order of rearrangement appear to be less than in other lock, in development, in developing double negative T cells, the arrangement of T cell receptor beta, gamma, and and the delta lock is in is initial response. If cells succeed in a product productively rearranging, rearranging its T cell receptor gamma and as well as its T cell receptor delta lock before it become uh, productive before it makes a productive TC um, T cell receptor B beta rearrangement it is selected into it is selected into the gamma delta T cell lineage this happened in about 10% of developing double negative T cell about 90% of the time a productive T cell receptor beta genes rearrangement is made first. In this situation, pre T cell receptor signal signaling select this cell to mature into the alpha beta T cell lineage and eventually and eventually deletion of T cell receptor delta when T cell receptor alpha is rearranged because T cell receptor Delta locus is embedded in the T cell receptor alpha locus, resulting in, in reversible commitment to uh, alpha beta lineage. The diversity of gamma delta T cell repertoire is theoretically even greater than that of alpha beta T cells repertoire, in part because um, heptama no. no Numbers, the combination signal sequence adjacent to D segments permit D to D joining. Paradoxically, however, the actual diversity of expression of alpha delta T cell receptor is limited because only few of the available VDJ and J segments are used in mature, um, in mature, <coughs> mature gamma delta T cell. For a known reason, this li this limited diversity is similar to limited diversity of B1 subset of B lymphocyte, and it is in keeping with uh, the concept of that gamma delta T cells serves as an early defense against limited number of commonly encountered microbes at epithelial barrier. The function of gamma delta cells are described in chapter 10. Other population called natural killer cells and mite cells also develop in the thermos. See the description in chapter 10 as well. So, in summary, again, phyto, if we repeat reading this part of the gamma delta lymphocyte, the T cell receptor alpha gamma, alpha beta, and the gamma delta exp expresses thymocytes are separate lineage with the a common precursor. In phytothermoses, the first T cell uh, genes rearrangement involve gamma and delta lock. The combination of T cell receptor gamma and delta lock proceed in fashion similar to that of other antigen receptor genes rearrangement. 
although the order of rearrangement appear to be less rigid than in other locks, in the developing double negative T cells rearrangement, the T cell receptor beta, gamma, and delta log or delta log is initially possible. If the cells succeed in productively, in productively rearranging its T cell receptor gamma as well as its T cell receptor delta log before it makes productive T cell, T cell receptor beta rearrangement, it is selected into the gamma delta T cell lineage. This happens in about 10% of developing uh, ten percent of developing double negative T cell. About nine percent of the time, a productive T cell uh, receptor beta gene rearrangement is made first. In this situation, pre T cell receptor signal signaling select these cell to mature into alpha beta T cell lineage and even and eventually deletion of T cell receptor delta when T cell receptor alpha is rearranged because the T cell receptor delta locus is embedded in the T cell receptor alpha locus result in irreversible commitment to alpha beta lineage. So the diversity as we said is uh, limited as we have read already so it's limited because of the state. Summary. B and T lymphocyte arise from common bone marrow derived precursor that become committed to lympho lymphocyte lineage. Early maturation is characterized by cell, prol cell proliferation induced by cytokine, mainly interleukin 7. A transcription factor induces the expression of lineage specific gene and open up specific antigen receptor gene lock. The initial expression of pre antigen receptor and the subsequent expression of antigen receptor are essential for the survival, expansion and maturation and de of development lymphocytes and for the selection process that lead to the diverse repertoire of useful antigen specialities. The antigen receptor of B and T cells are encoded by limited number of gene segments that are partially segregated in germline lock but somatically recombine, recombined in developing B cell and T cell. Separate lock encodes the immunoglobulin uh, Ig heavy chain, IgK light chain, Ig gamma, uh, Ig lambda light chain, T cell uh, receptor, B cell, T cell alpha gamma alpha delta chain, T cell receptor gamma chain. These lock contain VDJ, VJ and in Ig heavy chain, T cell receptor beta and delta lock, only D gene segment. So, separate lock encode the immunoglobin Ig, Ig heavy chain. Ig kappa light chain, Ig lambda light chain, T cell receptor, they have B beta chain, T cell receptor alpha and delta chain, T cell receptor gamma chain. This lock contain Vj and in the IgG heavy chain and TCR uh, and T, T cell receptor beta and delta lock only D gene segment. Somatic rearrangement of both Ig and T cell receptor lock involve joining of D and J segment in the lock that contain D segment followed followed by the joining of V J V segment to the recombinant DJ segment in this lock or direct V to J joining in other lock. This process of somatic gene recombination is mediated by recombinance enzymes, complex made up of lympho lymphocyte-specific component, RAG1 and RAG2. The diversity of antibody and uh, T-cell receptors is, is genera generated by combinatorial association of multiple germline VD and J gene segment and junctional diversity 
generated by addition or removal of random nucleotide at the site of recombination. This mechanism generates a most diverse and at the junction of segments that form a third hypervariable region of both antibody and T cell receptor peptides. These cell maturation occur in stages characterized by different patterns. Ig genes rearrangement and expression in the earliest stage uh, B cell precursor called pro B uh, Ig gene are initially in the germline configuration and DJ and D to J rearrangement occur at the Ig heavy chain locus. At pro B at pro B at the pro B to pre B cell transition, VDJ recombination is completed at IGH heavy chain locus, and VDJ exon is spliced to the mu C, -C region exons of the heavy chain RNA to generate mature RNA that in is translated into the mu heavy chain protein. The pre B, -P -pre -B cells receptor is formed by pairing of the mu. Of the mu chain with the surrogate light chain and by associating with a signaling molecule Ig alpha and beta. This receptor de delivers uh, survival and proliferation signal and also signal to inhibit rearrangement of other heavy chain alleles or allelic exclusion. As cell differentiate into, into immature B cell, Vj recombination occur initially by Ig kappa locus, a light chain protein are expressed. Heavy and light chain are then assembled into the intact IgM molecule and expressed on the surface. Immature B cell leave the bone marrow to populate the peripheral lymphoid tissue where they complete their maturation. At the mature, at the mature B cell stage, synthesis of mu and delta heavy chain uh, occur in parallel mediated the alternation alternative splicing to primary heavy chain transcript membrane IgM and IgE examined. During B cell lymphocyte maturation, immature B cell that expresses high affinity antigen receptor specific for self antigen present in bone marrow are induced to edit their receptor genes and these cells are eliminated. All these cells are eliminated. T cell maturation in thermos progress in stages of distinct by pathogen by pattern of, of expression of antigen receptor and CD4 and CD8 called receptor molecule. The earlier T lineage immigrant to the thermos do not express T cell receptor uh, or CD4 or CD8 molecule. The developing thermocytes initially populate the outer cortex where they undergo proliferation and rearrangement of T cell receptor genes and express CD3 T cell receptor CD4 CD8 molecules. At pre-stage, thermocytes remain double negative, but VDJ recombination is completed at TCRI beta chain locus and TCR beta chains or peptide are produced. The T cell receptor beta chain are beta chain associates with the, the invariant pre-T alpha protein to form a pre-T R, which transduce signal that inhibit rearrangement on other B, other beta chain allele, allelic exclusion, and promote the due CD4 and CD8 expression at the CD4, CD8 double positive stage. VJ recombination occur at TCR alpha locus, a chain polypeptide are produced and low level of TCR are expressed on the cell surface. Positive selection of CD4 and the CD8 T cell receptor alpha beta thermocyte require, requires low avidity recognition of peptide magister compatibility complex. As T cell receptor alpha and beta thermocyte mature, they move into medulla and become either CD4 plus or CD, CD4 plus CD4, CD8 negative or CD8 plus CD4 negative. Lineage recommitment accompanied positive selection resulting in the matching of T cell, T cell receptor that recognize MHC class 1 with CD8 expression and uh, 
the silencing of CD4. T cell receptor that recognizes MHC class 2 molecules are matched with CD4 expression and the loss of CD8 expression. Negative selection of CD4, CD8, T cell receptor alpha, beta, double positive thermos occur when these cells recognize, recognize with high avidity antigen that are present in thermos. This process is responsible for tolerance to many cell antigen. It has been long, long, long topic again. Oh, wish you all the best. Thank you for your attention and your time.